Okay. So, Jasmine, you put some of your laundry in here, right? No. It was full, so I didn't put any. No, so I only left it halfway, so you put some of your stuff in there. Well, I didn't put any. Okay. We'll have to do a load with just my stuff. Okay. Then. All right, hello everybody. Zuko here, uh, and my sister's here as well. Hello everyone. Fire Lord Regent Azula here. For those of you that don't know, being a regent means I used to be Fire Lord, and now I retired, and I let my brother have the role. That is technically what the title means. That's Azula's... not technically what it means. That is what it means. That is what it means. Azula is the first Fire Lord region in the history of our nation. That's right. Because every other Fire Lord keeps ruling until he dies. Mm hmm. Azula is the first one to. Graciously still... stand aside. Graciously. That is what I agree because to. Because I'm a good person. Be yes, she is. Uh, hello, everybody. 
Uh, so I think I saw somebody when I was setting up ask what this is. Um, so Azula introduced me, shall I say it nicely, to this game called Dishonored. Saying, I sprung it on him. He didn't know it was going to happen. Yes. And now here I am playing a game, trying to get my honor back because Azula, of course, thought it He's was He's failing funny. at that. He's very I'm not failing it. at that. I'm not failing at it. I'm doing good. I'm halfway through the game. You're not going to get your honor back. I'm going to get my honor back, Azula. Nothing's going to stop me from getting my honor back. All right. It's really sad to see you in denial. I'm not in denial. I I, I assure you, DV, I am not daddy. I don't did have a know, child. Did you know that the Fire Palace was actually based both on Japanese and Egyptian architecture? I don't know what either of those things yeah, are. Yeah, that's why you're in denial. What, what, you just made up two different words and are claiming I'm in denial because I don't... And I, you don't understand either of them, I know. There's nothing to understand. You made them up. Everything is made up, Zuko. Language is all made up. Well, yeah, but you and I aren't made up. We're real people. <laughs> okay. The reason Zuko... The reason Azula and I are not both Fire Lords is because that just wouldn't work. We would just be constantly arguing over everything. And if there's two Fire Lords, then there'd be no way to settle decisions other than us constantly acne kying for everything. Anyway, it just became time, so let's continue with the game. I remember last time I had an honorable duel with Chieftain Okoda. That didn't have any complications whatsoever. Right, alright, I need to sneak around and figure out which... Which lady is the one sleeping with War Minister Chin. Wait, then what is Ozai? Isn't he still alive? Um, I suppose he would be Fire Lord Regent if he hadn't been deposed in disgrace. This is an opportunity to what? Yeah, Dad doesn't really factor into any of this. Why don't we both be Fire Lords? Oh, I've retired. I don't want to be Fire Lord anymore. Buildings are full of corpses and rats. Where's the fortune there? If you want to be beaten, go right ahead. Let your family. Hold on. I need a cigar. You stop there. it. Stop that. Welcome to the party. Ha! <laughs> You're at a party. You're going to be terrible at this. I'm fine. I just have to blend in. Ah. Uh. Nothing is going to happen. Ooh, I liked her outfit. It was all red. Oh yeah, she's one of the possible targets. She's one of the head ladies. Whoa, okay. I hate their masks. Yeah. They're terrible. They are horrifying. Hers is just bloody. <laughs> They're like whales and moths, and hers is like just blood. Yeah. It's just blood. She has two other ones that are wearing one just like that in all black and one in all white. What is your biggest ambition now, Azula? My biggest ambition is to finish collecting them all. I've been Fire Lord for the Fire Nation. I've been Earth Queen for the Earth Kingdom. Now I just have to become Water Chiefess somehow. I'm just kidding. My goal is to be a good person, which I am. Right, okay. I do need to figure out a way to sneak upstairs. Hello, how is my favorite gay femboy icon and scary lady doing? Ha, <laughs> they called you a scary I'm lady. <laughs> I'm not a lady. Azula, why don't you build your own Fire Nation? If you don't like Zuko's decisions, I feel like it would be perfect. I'd rather help Zuko clean up his messes than make my own Fire Nation. At the end of the day, I'm still loyal to my people. Zuko, who would be your wife? Now that's a good question. I have a theory. I've narrowed it down to like four people. <laughs> what? I signed the guest book with my actual name, even though I'm a wanted criminal. <laughs> just to taunt Adana. them. Just to taunt That's them. That's like you showing up dressed as the blue spirit, but you write Zuko of the Fire Nation on the freaking... <laughs> Prince Zuko of the Fire Nation on the guest ledger. <laughs> All right, let... You know what? After I'm done here, they're going to look at that. They're going to be so upset. So I think I've narrowed down your potential wife options that you've been considering to four of them. Tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. Okay, one of them is May, because you're still in love with her and you'd like to get back to together with her, right? I mean, I, if you want, if you really want to say that, then... Okay. Uh, another one is that girl from Boston Say, the peasant. What's her name? You mean Jin? Yeah, her. She's another one, right? 
Right. So she's an option. You like her. I like Jin. She's nice. Okay. And then the third one is the girl that was your bodyguard. What's her name? Uh, the fan girl. Oh. I'm just kidding. I know her name. It's Suki. <laughs> well, yeah, Suki. I know all their names. You two have gotten awfully close, haven't you? Um, yeah. And didn't she recently dump Sokka? Did she? I don't know. I just know that she never goes there anymore. And Sokka's always like, why doesn't she love me anymore? She's always hanging out with Zuko. So I assumed. Maybe I assumed. Is that why assume. Sokka's saying I stole Suki from him? Constantly, yeah. Oh. And then the fourth one is the blind girl. Oh, tough. Yeah. Yeah, you owe her a field trip or whatever. Uh. It's going to be one of those four, right? What do you think, chat? Do you think it should be Mei, Jin, Suki, or uh, Toph? Right, I believe is her name. I feel like you. Act, I feel like you should know her name. Azula, do you hate Iroh, or you guys haven't interacted that much? I'm not the biggest fan, to be honest. He's always been a bit of a mm, favoritism sort of person, playing favorites for Zuko. Plus, he's kind of a womanizer, ladies' man type, and I just kind of am disgusted by that. I know, Zuko thinks it's playful, but I don't. I don't think it... I also don't like that Uncle flirts with every woman under the sun. No, you make excuses for it. It was a... He, he's old. It was different back when he was... Ah, there it is. It was a different time, Azula. Want to hear my Iroh impression again, if you haven't heard it enough? I mean, I'm Zuko sure... Zuko want to drink tea and get fat like me. I'm not going to get fat by it's drinking It's a perfect tea. Iroh impression. It's better than your Iroh impression. Besides, not... Uh, look, I know I'm not the best at doing impressions, but it's fine. Look, neither of us are going to get fat, Azula, especially because we're doing that, th that thing that Toph asked us to do for... I don't know why, but she asked us to she do it. She told you to focus on meditation and to try fasting so you would get closer to your spiritual side. She was clearly trolling you. She makes fun of when Aang does that all the time. Well, why are you doing it then? To prove that I can, because I was challenged. Well, then I guess we're both doing it. Might explain why Toph won't tell her girls who their daddy is. You know, the name Kanto can be written with the characters for Crown Capital. Think about it. Zuko, do Iroh impression again, please. They want to hear your Iroh impression. Zuko, you must look in yourself to understand yourself so that you do not forget yourself. I think mine's better. Zuko, drink tea and get fat and be a traitor. <laughs> That's mine. I think mine's more accurate. Uh, I, I, I mean, he doesn't ask me to get I don't know that. I think Zuko's Azula impression oh oh why don't we do impressions of each other all right okay sure. do your impression of me do your impression of me <clears throat> Zuko you're never gonna get your honor back because you're a terrible person you're horrible you're terrible at everything and you stuck me in an asylum for 50 years may have been you just want to go get drink tea and get fat with uncle I'm the one doing all the hard work here if it wasn't for me you'd probably be dead in a gutter somewhere without your eye that's not a very good impression. Really? You didn't even say you were a good person. <clears throat> I'm a good person now. That didn't sound anything like how I say it. All right, I can do it. Here's my impression of you. You ready? <clears throat> Hi, Zuko here. I'm so lonely. How did I get this scar? I'm supposed to be the Fire Lord. What is the sun but a giant fire? I'm a pretty bad Fire Lord, I guess. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's not what I sound like. That's exactly what you sound like. Plot twist, Zuko ends up with the moon? You have a thing for the moon? I don't. You're going to steal it's... every girl from Sokka, huh? I, I, You're a bad friend. I'm who, I never said I was going for You're the moon. You're a bad person. Good thing you're playing a rat right now because you are a rat. I am not a rat, First Azula. First you steal Suki, then you steal Yue. I haven't stolen anybody. Azula, are you still mad Zuko cheap shot you in an Agni Kai? I mean, it was pretty rude of him to try to take advantage of my mental illness. I didn't cheap shot you. Yes, you, you challenged did. me. Uh, you came to my house to challenge me. It was our house. No, because you betrayed the Fire Nation. It wasn't your house anymore. Daddy kicked you out. No, I kicked my... I, I literally ran away. Dad didn't get the honor of kicking me out. Okay, that's not what he told me happened, so... 
I he dad tried to kill me with a lightning blast. I redirected it into his face, and then Ooh, I ran. Someone says the two of you should do impressions of each other's impressions of Iro. Oh look, Sokka's wolves are here. Oh, Sokka's here, and so are his wolves. Hi, babies. This one's named Moon Moon. Like the moon. Moon Moon? Yeah, it's two moons. Okay. This one I named Sun Sun because I figured if he named one Moon Moon, I had to name the other one Sun Sun. So we've got Moon Moon, Sun Sun, and Zuzu. All right, hold on. I'm, there's this guard. I need to make sure he doesn't see me. <laughs> How does he not see you through glass? I don't know. Are you going to kill him or just knock him out? Knock him out. Knock him out the box, Luke. Knock him out. Just take him out of the equation. He's the only person up here. Come here, son, son. Aren't you precious? Never mind. Yeah, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna try that. Oh, again. you're cheating! You're cheating! You're a cheater! I'm not cheating! You're cheating! I'm not cheating! Everyone, look at what a cheater he is. I'm I would not never cheat like cheating. this. cheating! I would never. The all right, all right. Try to do I, look, an impression of my impression of Uncle Iroh. An impression of your impression? Yes. Wouldn't that just sound like my own impression? No. We do very different impressions. <sighs> All right. If I want to try to sound like you, <clears throat> Suka, drink tea, get fat. <laughs> That's terrible. You're just going to say that to everything I try to do, as well. You're just bad at impressions. No, you're just going to say I'm bad no matter what I do. I, I, I don't know why I even oh, bother. Oh, yeah? Okay. If you're so good at impressions, do an impression of one of your friends, and I will judge it. You know what? I have a better idea. What? <clears throat> Azula, here you are at home, st sitting around doing nothing while your brother's out there actually finding the Avatar. I swear, he's much more useful than you. Oh, two can play at that game, Zuzu. Really? <clears throat> Zuko, I do love you, but you're a huge disappointment to me. Not like Azula, who at least gets things done even without my love. Yeah. Not so nice when the shoe's on the other foot. We're off to a resounding start. <laughs> as as, are you crazy or not crazy? Excuse me, being sane in an unwell world is not an indication of mental health. I just want to put that out there. Okay, hold on. Let me see how many guys are here. Okay, I think just two. I can deal with two. You should have just come as a Kyoshi warrior so you could sneak in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> How does he not I see you? Know. These people are blind. As long as I'm crouching, they have like no ability. Why do to you have stop. seismic sense? It doesn't make sense. I mean, for the same purpose Sun, that I have. Sun, like, quiet, come here. Come I here, guess Sun, the Sun. same reason I have like air bending powers and metal bending powers. But Sun, Sun, and Moon, Moon. Sokka's not very creative with his names. Oh, Sokka named them. Well, he named Moon Moon, so I named the other one Sun Sun to make fun of him. I see. Someone's supposed to be on duty over here. All right, if I just hide out over here and don't chin. worry, Zuko doesn't know anything about duty. Yes, I do. Do you? What do you know about duty? Well, I mean, it was my duty to capture the Avatar. Do you ever let your duty go to your head? Why are you phrasing it like that? <laughs> All right, okay, but what is your best impression of one of your friends? Who can you do the best? I can do both Mei and Tai Lee. I can do Sokka the best. Do you want to hear my Mei and Tai Lee? Sure. Okay, which one first? Uh, Tai Lee. Okay, here's my Tai Lee. Oh, wow, Azula! You're so talented! Even though I'm a ditzy airhead, well, I'm pretending to be because I'm a traitorous snake who's lying! Wow! Pretty good. That's, That's my best cool. friend. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll do mine now. <coughs> Um. Oh, don't, we, don't you want to hear my May first? Oh, well, yeah, I thought we were going to do it intermittently. No, but... me first, then you. Wait your turn. Okay, okay, okay. My mistake, my mistake. Okay, you want to hear May? Sure. <clears throat> hey, I guess I don't love Zuka more than I fear you. Or maybe I did, and I'm not very scared of you to begin with. That was pretty good. That means I don't love you. Yeah. I can see the little tear in the corner of your eye. <laughs> I, mean, she, I mean, you can't say anything worse than what she already said, so... Oh, what did she say? Well, I mean, she broke up with me, so... <laughs> I'm breaking up with you. Whatever. 
doesn't hurt as bad the second time. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so can I hear your Aang impression? Do you have an Aang impression? Um. <clears throat> uh, what I need to remember that one thing Aang always says. <clears throat> Will you go penguin sledding with me? Oh, wow. That's terrifying. Never do that again. That's right. too scary. Was it that bad? No, that is terrifying. But Hearing that sound come out of your mouth, I, I never want to hear it again. Listen, you didn't have the nightmare where I had Aang's face. I don't know anything about that, and I don't want to know anymore. All right. Okay, what about your Sokka impression, then, that you're so proud of? Can I <laughs> Okay, but actually do words. Look, Azula, it's not your place to tell me how to do a Sokka impression. There. Happy? Someone there? Mm. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. Uh-huh. Can you say something else in that voice? Uh, anything specific? Say that I'm smart. You know what, Azula? As much as you piss me off... You're smart enough to constantly find new ways to do it. Uh, say that I'm pretty. I, I just did. No, say that I'm pretty. And I guess you're also pretty. No, like you mean it. What? What, what is the point of this, Azula? Just say you that. just want me to say... Gosh, you're pretty. Okay, all right, okay, I can't take any more. <laughs> Wow, okay, that one's pretty good, I'll admit it. Thank you. Do impressions of Bosco. Who's Bosco? Uh, I think that's the Earth King's bear. Oh, that stupid thing. Why would I do an impression of a bear? Oh, I finally figured out how to do that. How did you what? I finally figured out how to put my sword away. I've been doing the whole game not knowing how to do that. You sure are a slow learner, Zuko. It never told me how! <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna drink. Do you want a drink? I want all the drinks, since yeah. we're fasting. Yeah, I know, right? We're totally... <laughs> Toph totally scammed us into this, didn't she? All Classic right. Toph. Love her. She's actually really great. You know what? She might have. There's a okay, all right. balcony over there. What is that? Out the window. What is that? I think it's a reflection. No, no, no. The thing in the corner. That thing. What is that? This thing? Yeah. No, no. That thing. What is it? This thing? That thing. That? Yeah. What is that? I I assume it's a reflection. Oh, I see what it is. What? It's your lost honor. Yeah, of course. I should have seen that coming. <laughs> you could should have, but you didn't. I should, I should really I just thought Ty Lee was you. Azula's girl. Yeah, I did too. And yet, look what she did. Betrayed me. For May of all people. And what did May do? Betray me for a boy who didn't even want her. Oh. So much for solidarity among girls. It's fine. I'll forgive her. She is my type. Dumb and pretty, but not actually dumb. Then again, I suppose you could say the same for Sokka. Maybe I'm just spoiled for choice. Sure, Azula. If that's the way you want to see it. A war medal... What else? I know that they're- Put on I, some makeup. I, I, it won't <laughs> let me? Look pretty. <laughs> Look like a Kyoshi warrior, then they won't actually catch you. That's Sokka's thing, not mine. It's my thing! What are you talking about? Okay, I'm sorry. Look, doing that with Sokka is no fun at all. All he does is complain that I don't do the makeup as well as him. It's ridiculous. Oh, here he comes now. Hello. Hi, Sokka. Hi, Sokka. Don't you say a word. Don't say a thing. Don't say what? Nothing, don't worry about it. How's Azula's makeup game, Sokka? Eh. We got a prowler up. Hey, Sokka, how's Zuko's Iro impression when he's trying to give you advice? Somehow even worse. <laughs> All right, fair, fine, fair, <laughs> You fair. started it. All right, fine, fine. And fine. as usual, I ended it. Is that all there was out here? Just a guy to choke out? Yeah, I guess that was all that was here. Just a guy with a boomerang to choke out. I'll take his bullets. <laughs> I'm looking for something up here. I just... What are you looking for? Well, evidence on which Lady Boyle I'm trying to target.
Oh, I found the attic. Okay. Why doesn't Sokka try any impressions? Do you have any good impressions of anyone else that you know, Sokka? Like, we were doing impressions of Uncle Iroh, May, Ty Lee, everyone. Do you have any impressions like that? Hmm, let me think. I know you have one of your father, right? Of Hakoda? Yeah, I've heard Sokka talk like his dad before. Oh, I, I, it's not that great. All right, who does a better Hakoda, you or Zuko? I mean, I, I, I've actually hung around my dad a lot more, so I'm assuming probably... Sokka, don't take that tone with me, young man. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. What about your Sokka? Ball's in your court, Sokka. You know, I like... <clears throat> You know, I do like a lot of your friends, but that Zuko guy, something's kind of strange about him, but I can't quite put my finger on it. I think we have a winner. <sighs> it's me. Mm -hmm. wait, wait, what? Two Hakodas. Here are three costs okay, for your party. I'm out. <laughs> it pains me that I can't be there, though I'm sure you understand why. I know you're going to look lovely in red. Oh, okay. All right. All right, so, War Minister Chin's the one, is sleeping with the one in red. Azula, things about Ty Lee. Oh, what do you want to know about Ty Lee? Um, well, originally, she wasn't supposed to be my friend. My father had arranged that I was going to be friends with one of her sisters because her family's important or something. Uh, but I didn't end up liking her. I just thought she was really annoying and boring. And then I met Ty Lee one day while over at their house, and I liked Ty Lee so much that I told them to swap them out. And they were picking on Ty Lee because Ty Lee was like, oh, you guys always treat me like I'm the same as you, and I want to be my own person. And they kept laughing at her for it, and, and she kept doing handstands and all that. So I was like, I like her. I like that she's different. I like that she doesn't fit in. I like that she tries to do her own thing. So I told Daddy, I don't like that girl. I like her friend. And Daddy was like, yeah, sure, whatever. I don't care. And so from then on, Ty Lee was my friend. Red, huh? This must actually be Azula then. <gasps> Is it me you're trying to kill? Uh, no, because I rescued you. You're back in... Unless, unless this is you when you were running around with your uh, asylum friends all costumed up and everything? You know, I don't think you get to call them asylum friends. Well, what do I get to call them, Azula? Something nicer. I mean, it's really rude to be the head of state that left them in an abusive asylum. and they I didn't leave them there! I didn't put them there! Yeah, but you could have let them out and you didn't. You pardoned a lot of political prisoners, but no one in asylums, huh? Seems like an oversight. Rookie move, really. I didn't think the asylum was as... I didn't know how bad the asylum actually was, okay? Exactly. Your ignorance created a situation that was malicious. Alright, put the weapon away. Because now I'm going back into the... Yeah, no longer trespassing. Alright, so this is the... This is the lady I need to neutralize. But so I, you need to kill her or just talk to her? Well, I mean, killing her's one option. Wait, is this the masquerade? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh Sokka's played this game before. Of course, we played it together. It's tacky for a hostess to drink. Someone should tell Esma. Oh, I probably should back out of this. How rude. Who's under that mask? I think you're a crasher. Try again, I suppose. Yeah, try again. I have it on. I I have it on. Oh, okay. Let me just try that again. Cheater, cheater! Do you see what a cheater Zuko is? He thinks he can just do over his mistakes and doesn't have to pay for them. Look, but no when one it's your turn that. to play, you can do this too. Look, once once we're playing the game that I have picked out for you. All right, let me just try that again. Don't talk to her yet. Nihilus of Kronos.
Look, it's not cheating if this is the way to keep people from dying, alright? There's nothing cheating about letting innocent people live. Anyway, I, what I was saying, Azula, is I have it on good faith that there's a specific person here that I need to talk to, but they don't show up until a little bit later. So I'm hoping that I've let enough time pass that uh, he has arrived. Oh, actually, I think that's him. I know your mission tonight. We must speak privately. That is quite the mask you have, random stranger. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for you. Oh, you're a friend of Lao Bay Fong's. All right. And how to say this? Your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Waverly. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will keep her safe with me forever. So are you going to do that? Yeah. You're a hopeless romantic, huh? I would never sell a woman out to a rich man, but I can see why you think that's the better option. Okay. How is that going for you, Zuko? What do you mean? Being a hopeless romantic. Not well. He's been hanging out with Suki a lot, just like you were wondering about. Oh, really? Tell me. And? She's his bodyguard. Well done. But you'll have to... I thought you were feeling, you know, bad that she never comes to visit you in the South Pole. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a bummer. I mean, she's got to work. Not like I'm life. busy, you know, trying to get things fixed up at the, here at the South Pole, too. Why? Who sent you? <sighs> Maturity. I can't stand it. There's no fun here. I'm not mature. I mean, wait. <laughs> I have no wish to die, but I won't wait long. And if you're lying, I'll see you hang. All right, to the cellar we go. It's like someone here wants you dead. Me not telling. Oh, are you her gonna that steal his stuff? Nice. I'm not lying. Someone does want her dead. I uh, just haven't told her that I'm the one who was sent here to do it. What is your favorite signature firebending move? Mine or yours? Yours. They're asking about you. Mm -hmm. It's what Sokka calls the breakdance kick. Enjoying yourself? Oh, that like spin and get up move? Yeah. Oh, so I noticed you've incorporated a lot more water bending moves, but that one fire bending move you learned from Toph recently was pretty interesting. Oh, I'm very proud of that one, actually. I kind of created it. It's not as hot, but it's way more concussive. I've it's noticed. incredibly defensive, is what it is. Yeah, speaking of which, I heard there's a fighting style all about dancing. I can't remember, what is it called again? Uh, like Capybara or something like that? Yeah, that's it. Capybara. That's what it is. I've Zaku. never heard of that. Capybara! Both of you! What am I going to do with you two? Well, Cappy, where was I going to get that information from? Ah! Uh, right, he's really cute. Switch. What? <laughs> what? What, you got a problem? You want to challenge what I said? Are you saying he's not cute? Bad friend. Alright, I knocked her unconscious. How is it that you despise treachery while you actually like stealing, Azula? I don't like stealing. That's Zuko's thing. He's the one that steals all the time. I don't steal all the time. But you did while you were banished. Well, well, yeah, because it was more honorable to... Oh, someone said they thought the Dance of the Dragon would have been your favorite. What's the Dance of the Dragon? That's how I 
That's something Aang and I had to do. Hold on, I'll tell you after this is done. No, he won't. Look, I... Alright, now as I was saying, I'd be happy to tell you, Azula, but I can't. What do you mean you can't? I am... I am... I, some, I can only talk about it to Aang and nobody else. Why? Because it's just that important. Is it a euphemism? Well, like a dragon dance? Yes. Oh, okay, I get it, fine. Katara's not gonna be happy about that, though. I can't imagine so. All right, now what do I do? I need hey, to Azula, in a hypothetical situation where Ozai suddenly gains his bending back and breaks out of prison, would you side back with him or remain sided with Zuko and his friends? Bold of you to assume I'm siding with anyone ever. I'm on my side, a.k.a. the correct side. If Zuko wants to side with me, then I'll accept it. She does have a tendency to... Go her own way. But I know for a fact father is not going to work for me, so I'm not going to be working for him again. I already learned what you get if you do that. Heartbreak. Besides, father's not breaking out anytime soon. No, he's not. He's lazy or something. I also take every precaution to make sure he doesn't get out. I also just think he's lazy. I mean, everyone else in our family has broken out of prison or an asylum at some point. You, me, uncle... True. Would Iroh approve of Zuko being all stealthy to get his honor back? I thought he gave up being the blue spirit. That's a good question, Zuzu. Do you think Uncle would approve? Approve of what? Or I think. Of you being all stealthy and sneaky and stealing. Well, I mean, he knows. He, he figured it out at some point. That's not the question. Do I think he'd approve? Probably not, no. Do you care that he doesn't approve? I mean, my... Those days are behind me, so... Well, you're doing it right now. Well, yeah, in this game. I don't think he'd mind in this game or What nothing. if he was like, Zuko, that is bad. Your chaos is so high. One hostile killed? What? What? Who did I kill? Uh, I don't remember killing anybody, actually. Don't make me go into a trap by accident? Your chaos is so high. Is there any way to lower it? I... I assumed going that mission without actually murdering anybody would have done it. Look at all these special actions I did. Yeah, you're not getting your honor back. I'm totally getting my honor back! You have a heart, Zula. Of course I have a heart. If anything, I'm a bit of a bleeding heart. I'm always trying to get Ty Lee and Zuko back in line. I mean, Ty Lee went and she, she joined a circus. So disgraceful. I care about her enough to try to get her back in line at any cost. And don't get me started on Zuzu. Banished, disgraced, a total mess. And what did I do? I brought him home in honor, at great personal risk to myself. Of course I have a heart. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family is a man. I know both of your lives have been very hard, Zuko and Azula, but both of you are really good people. Ugh. Now, especially Azula. Oh, yes, I agree. Thank you, uh, multi-power. I am a good person. Ding. Look, and whoever's saying that the Azula bridge is really good, it's like, it's not an impression. It's, it's just Azula. My impression of myself is spot on. Thank you. Unlike Zuko, who never sounds like himself. I sound like myself all the time. Why are you looking at me like that? Because the real you would have said, How could you say that? How could you say that? There it is. <laughs> I'm even better at being Zuko than Zuko. Oh my, will you please stop, Azula? Okay, but only because you asked and I'm a good person. Of course. Not because it wasn't hilarious, because it was. Alright. Anyway, where's Lau? Do you ever think about Luten? What? Sometimes? Me too. What is that? I don't know. Looks disgusting, whatever it is. I 
I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Anyway, yeah, I think about Luten sometimes. It's... I don't like thinking about it because it makes me sad every time I do. Do you ever think about Luten? Sometimes. Mostly when I think about him, I think how, you know, if circumstances were different, that could have been either you or me. I trust you enjoyed the boil All right, Lau, what do you want to talk about? And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. What'd he give you? Is it your know. honor? I d I d maybe? I don't know what he's giving me. He just gives you a little paper hat that says honor on it. <sighs> you put it on, parade it all around the castle. The whole palace sees you wear it. <laughs> oh, I got it. Okay, he gave me a rune. That's actually helpful. How many runes do I have at this point? I have one. <laughs> yeah, I kind of didn't explore at all last mission. I just try I just wanted to finish it. You know what I remember most about Luten? What's that? He didn't treat me badly. He didn't expect me to perform. Attention. But he also didn't treat me like I was odd. As you would members of the city watch and yeah, no, he... He treated us pretty normally, everything we have especially. Everything that you have done has served to make this moment possible. The Lord In fact, isn't he the one that said that you would be the best Pai Show player? Yes, he said if I cared about Pai Show, I'd be great at it. And I said, but I don't care about Pai Show. Will the rune ever help you get your honor back, Zuko? I would hope so. Or will it leave it in ruins? Oh. He will never rise from the ashes of your own humiliation. Uh, this guy's boring. Yeah, I... My, this is how the war council meetings go. Well, not war council, but this is how the council meetings go now. Yeah, you just sit there and you listen to them talk I about list, this? Yeah. And what do you do? Do you tell them to shut up and stop being boring? No, I have to listen to them. That sounds boring. It is. But it's important. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the water. All right, the mechanism Samuel, that then, fake name again. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go and stop War Minister Chen once and for all. Other than her hopes are riding on you. Also, apparently, I found out that Yue's heart can do something else. Admiral Havelock is seeing more forces than all the rest put together. There are few brave enough to laugh. So something I discovered, Azula. What's that? If you point Yue's heart at random people and you use it, Yue will actually tell me something about them. So that was... Alright, she's not very well liked. I'll take that for extra money. Continue going up the stairs. Because I could go for a second rune. Anonymous notes. 
Whoever you are, I must thank you for sparing at least part of my family. We all have enemies. Certainly, we boil women. In a way, you've done me a favor, so you deserve a reward. I've passed this along for one of my servants through another who knows another to one of yours. May we never cross paths again. Oh, that's dark. The other two women are thanking me for only getting rid of one of them. And not all three of them. And not all three of them. And I got a second rune out of that. Good job, Zuko. You didn't murder as many people as you could have. The bar is so low for you. Would you rate him a loo 10 out of 10? <laughs> He's dead. He, he is dead. <laughs> Someone asked if that was your honor. What do you guys think of your granddad Azulon? Oof. I don't have the best opinions of him. We got asked about this before. He never really paid much attention to us. Yeah, he kind of just ignored us. I know he didn't like Daddy very much. No, uh, Dad... I remember hearing Dad go off about how much he, Dad was, like, never fair to him. Yeah. Speaking of council, good on you all the work on getting Fire Nation OSHA passed. Oh, is that that safety bill you got done? Oh, the... Oh, yeah, the one that that guard, who is usually here at the beginning of these streams, has been talking about. Yeah, apparently this OSHA thing is, like, a brand new thing that, um, that, uh... You added rails everywhere? Yeah, so that workers couldn't fall into random places. You spent a lot of money in political capital on that, didn't you? Well, yeah, because Udao was... It started in Udao, and then everybody was, like, loved it. Damn, all right, I didn't realize Suki had that going on. He spies on his neighbors and then reports to the overseer. Okay, so he's a snitch. So are you going to rat him out? I don't think I can. I think this is just secret information that Yue can tell me. My work on the Joplin Arc Pylon progresses slowly, but it progresses do you need me to build something for you? Isn't he the creep that was mechanist. spying on the girl in the yes, bath? Yes, the mechanist who was Ew. spying on the girl in the bath. Kill him. I, I told her about it. I would it. kill him. That should I, be considered good. I, I, I can't kill who him. Who do you think will win, Ozai or Iroh, in a fight? Depends. How old is... how? Like, right now, if he still had his bending, Dad would win. But he doesn't, so Uncle would win. Yeah, just kind of by default. Though it's not really that fair, but... Then... I mean, Daddy was more powerful than Uncle until he got his bending so, taken away. Yeah. I, I know that before we were born, Uncle was, like, way better, but... Oh, yeah, because Daddy was a baby. Like, well, yeah, I'm going duh. to say that's because, you know, Uncle went to war and everything. Uncle's, like, ten years older. That's why he's so old. Have you guys ever been to Omashu? Well, I have. I renamed it New Ozai. Not that Daddy cared. Have you ever been to Omashu? Oh, you went there, right? Because May was there. Yeah, right. I went recently. He went recently. May's been staying there, actually. She she went back there because her father was governor there. I don't know what she's doing there now. She met the king, right, King Bumi? Yeah, and all his eight children. He, yeah, he has like eight sons, right? Something about... Lotus petals or something. I don't remember. Who cares? She hangs out with them. She's been on a journey of self-discovery or something now. Something along those lines. Did you like Omashu? Omashu's... It's alright. What do you remember about it? The... It's loud because their mail is delivered by that cart system constantly. I thought that was pretty ingenious. I mean, for an earthbending city, yeah, pretty ingenious. I didn't like that there wasn't an ocean nearby. It is in the middle of a bunch of mountains. I miss the, the ocean breeze. Hold on. Like, I even when it. I'm in the South Pole, it's cold, but there's still an ocean breeze. Screw you, hagfish. Oh, sure, but when Zhao kills a fish... This one is at the moon. Everyone loses their minds. It's... It's not- I didn't shoot the moon with a crossbow <laughs> bolt. I'm just That's holding That's fine, I the, hate Zhao. I don't- I, I hate him too. Moon Moon, what are you doing? Moon Moon is basking in the sun, which is quite ironic. So where's Sun Sun? Where is Sun Sun? Sun Sun's under the table. Wait, so Sun Sun's hiding from the light while Moon Moon's basking in it. Maybe I got their names mixed up. They are Sokka's wolves after all. I mean, well, I mean, if you go off their fur color, I mean, it makes sense. 
Moon Moon is dark and Sun Sun is bright. But the fact that this one's in the sun and that one's in the dark makes you think that one's Sun Sun and that one's Moon Moon. Maybe that was the joke? (laughs) Anyway, uh, gonna go get rid of War Minister Chin now. Oh, I'm excited for that. His drill plan was so boring. Yeah, I found out about that way after. I was like, really? A drill? As if the Earthbenders weren't just going to, you know, destroy that before it ever got through. Moon Moon, if you'd please be quiet. Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. Um, multi-power, that fish will attack me if I so much as, like, get close to it. It's done everything wrong to me. Anyway, what do I have? Okay. Not your honor. Well, that's no, not in your inventory. Alright, so this is where, oh, this is where the game began. Except now I'm returning in disgrace. Oh. Oh, okay, it's hitting close to home now. Anyway, let me put on some more bone charms. Sure, I'll take that. And one more bone charm to put on. Sure, roll one one swing sword slightly faster. Why not? Anyway, uh, I'm here. All of these items and none of them have Um, honor. No, no, Mm -hmm. none of them do. Oh, now you're going to the red light district? I saw that red light. Dishonorable. Well, this is where the game starts. I guess you learned from from Uncle after all, huh, Zuzu? (laughs) His love of Earth Kingdom women. Uh. Someone says leave them alone. They're on a journey of character development. Thank you. We sure are, aren't we? Yeah, this is certainly character development, all right. Zuko and Azula wish me luck on my security exam. Good luck, Shades! I hope you do great on your security exam. Yeah, I'm sh- very I, good at security, I'm actually. I'm sure you'll be a great bodyguard. I repelled all of the troops away during the Day of Black Sun, so you have my blessing. And you know... Oh, the pie is a lie here! We gotta do the, the special greeting for the pie is a lie. Oh, I... Right. When this stream is over, there will be pie. And it's not a lie. That was so good, I died. You know, it was really unclear. <laughs> I know that was pretty clear, but. <clears throat> and since the Fire Lord was caught off guard, his life came to a swift end. You are trying to copy me, but once again, you are not as good as me. That is a matter up to interpretation. It is objectively true. Don't even try. <clears throat> Zuko, I have to tell you, that impersonation was not a triumph. I didn't ask you, Sokka! <laughs> and you wonder why I like Sokka. Because he has taste. What? No one's talking to you, peasant. Shut well, up. Because he's kissing your butt right now? Oh, gosh, I wish. I'm gonna ignore that. Yeah, because you also wish he was kissing your butt right now. No, I don't. I Admit it, Water Tribe people have nice eyes. What? Blue's my favorite color, what can I say? What? <laughs> then again, Katara's pretty good looking herself. Okay. Oh, see, look, I love the special greeting. Azula's was better. You've paid these people off, I know it. Weren't you in an asylum, Azula? I was. It was a terrible place, so you know, I left. Oh, hold on, those are rats. I then know. I came back and I freed some other people. And now Zuko's really sorry about it, aren't you, Zuzu? I am. It was pretty awful. I mean, the food was awful. They were always cheap blocking us and putting us in those those jackets where you couldn't even scratch your own nose. It was very traumatic. There were the people that mocked me and said, Oh, who's the mad queen now? And I would just stare at them and laugh at them. And who cares? Don't take them seriously. They're peasants. See, the Lord Regent. Oh, a bone charm. Spirited. That's what I am, the Fire Lord Regent. 
potions give you slightly more mana. You know what? I'll take that over this adrenaline thing. Why do you like May more than Ty Lee? I've never understood that. I, I, it's not something I, like, have... I mean, I like Ty Lee better. I respect May more, because May plays her role okay. correctly, we, but we, I like Ty Lee better. We had this conversation before, and the gist of it is Ty Lee just comes off fake, all right? Yes. She does. That's why I thought you'd like her. You thought I... Jeez. Because you also come off fake. I'm not fake. I mean, when you were doing all of your, you know, I'm the perfect prince stuff, it was all fake. Kylie's not fake anymore. She was, for the same reasons you were. That's why I'm saying. I thought you would have liked her better. I don't. And I resent all of what you said. That sounds awful. I'm sorry you went through that, Azula. You don't deserve that. It's true. I you never, hear that, Zuko? I didn't deserve it. I never said What do you said have to say you, for yourself? I never said you did. So what do you have to say for yourself for putting me in that asylum? I already apologized to you, Azula. Maybe you should do it again. Why? Because we're live now? Can you ever apologize enough for something that horrible? I'm sorry I put, I put you in an asylum, Azula. Wow, it was so hard for you to apologize. You're not a good person, you know that? You know what, Azula? If it wasn't for the fact that I'm trying to do this thing for for Toph, whether or not it was a scam or not, to not swear, I would have such choice words for you and your behavior. What are those choice words? I can't say them. <laughs> I'll fight you in an Agni Kai. That's right, Zuko. Don't start talking bad about Ty Lee. Only I'm allowed to do that, and only because I like her. I like her so much. So you know, special privilege. Of course, you have special privileges for everything. Zuko's fake. This is coming from the girl who pretended to be a literal ghost. Oh, I never lied about the fact that I was lying about being a ghost. Oh, I thought they were talking about Katara with her painted lady stuff. That's also true. Drop your body back here. No, don't. Yeah, Zuko, apologize for putting your sister through that pain. I, I just did. Well, they want you to do it again. Well, at this point, they're just trying to take advantage of the moment anyway. But yes, I am sorry that I put you through that, Azula. I'll forgive you, but only because I'm such a good person now. Uh, sh sure. I did my redemption so much faster and more efficiently than you. I'm sure you did. Azula and Zuko, if you guys are looking for a bodyguard, I don't mind working. I can handle anything and I have no fear to fight back. Are you looking for any more bodyguards, Zuzu? Oh. All right, you know what? Screw it. F screw it. I, I, all this talk of that, you know what? I just need to take out my frustrations. I thought you were trying to have a low chaos run. Yeah, well, you know what? You're very chaotic. <laughs> wow, Zuzu. You never think ahead, do you? I'm thinking ahead plenty enough, and I don't care. Double kill. Now you see the truth, Zuzu. You try to prevent your, pretend you're better than us, but in reality, you really are just one of us, aren't you? Embrace your true fire lord, Zuzu. Okay, don't don't get too carried away, as well. You're going to be a fire lord to end all fire lords. They will know your wrath and tremble. Yes, you are a kind and merciful god, but if they don't respect you, they will learn the meaning of the word rue. Thank you. Uh, if this was a reality, that'd probably have some weight to it. Thankfully, this is just a simulation. Anyway. Yes, Zuko, apologize for putting your sister through that pain. Well, if Zuko has to apologize, you have to apologize to Azula for the stuff you put. What? What do you mean I have to apologize? An Azula apology, she would do that now since she is a good person? Ugh! Okay, fine. Zuzu? Yes, Azula? I'm sorry that because you're so weak, I've often made fun of you for it. I thought I was helping you be stronger. I recognize now that it wasn't working, and so I'm sorry. Because I'm a good person now. Praise me for it. You're a good person. See? I'm sorry that 
due to your warped perception of good whoa, and evil. Whoa, whoa, warped perception. Shh, let me now finish. you're going to be making fun let of me. Let me finish. Wow, your apology let is terrible. Finish. You're a bad person. I sat through your apology. Yeah, but I didn't call your perception mine. warped. No, you called me weak. Yes, but I didn't put you in an asylum for weak people. You put me in an asylum for people with warped perceptions. You don't think that's crueler? Context? I think you're manufacturing the context. No, it is very rude to imply someone's crazy after you put them in an asylum, Zuko. I'm not calling you crazy. Warped I'm perception. Saying... All right, fine. I'm sorry that your problematic perception of good and evil made it so that you weren't understanding that the good As if you, you didn't have the me. same perception. Do you want the apology or not? I want a real apology. That's the realest apology you're going to get. Fine. You can look for your honor on your own. Until you're ready to give a real apology, I'm not going to help you. Really? You're just going to walk out? Yep. Goodbye, Zuzu. Goodbye, Azula. Hey, Sokka, do you want to play my show? Oh, you're not sharking me this again. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. I'm a good person now. Make that ding sound! I don't have to take this chat. I, I, I put up with it for so... For so long. And, like, I was incredibly nice to her the entirety of last stream. And look how grateful she is. It's ridiculous. The whole lot of it is so ridiculous. And now Moon Moon's upset. At least I think that's Moon Moon. Anyway, why should I have to put up with it? Oh, don't get started with me, multi-power. You're, you're probably just one of Azula's Dai Li. You know what, Pai is a lie. Maybe you actually have have a point. Hold on. Hey, Azula. Nope, nope, she's gone. All right. Well, when she comes back, uh, I'll have to say something. Captain Briarmont, I must ask you to speak with one of your men. Corporal Keys reports to you, I believe. According to the morning duty officer, Keyes has been making his way to the basement, meeting with the royal interrogator. I have no idea what they discuss, but it's been reported that Keyes has an interest in the occult. Either way, I'm not an overseer, so I don't give a fig for how he spends his time when he's not on duty. But keep him away from the torturer at the basement is off limits to our men, Major Hawking. All right, what's all in here? Grenades, rewired tools, hemlock, food. Where is everybody? Okay. Go up there. The room's close by, but there's a lot of guards around, so this isn't going to be easy. Sleep, go to sleep. Good. Good, that's why I bought the sleep darts. Okay, yeah, that's where I want to go. Let's see if I can... If I can get to this rune, I would very much appreciate that. Okay, okay, game's kind of getting weird on me there. I know you're here. 
Oh, crap. Stupid spotlight. I just want the rune. Say something. I just got done crushing Sokka and Paisho, so I'm in a pretty good mood. You better not ruin my good mood. I want to say that I got a little caught up in chat pitting the two of us against each other. I'm sorry for not giving you a real apology. Are you going to give me a real apology? I'm sorry that I wasn't a good brother to you growing up. And I'm sorry that, kind of like with chat, I also let Dad pit the two of us against each other. The thing is, Yuzu, I know I wasn't always the best sister to you, but I tried in the way I thought was best, trying to make you strong, trying to get you to play along with the role Father wanted you to play. You were bad to me because you didn't like me, and those aren't the same thing. No, no, they're not. I forgive you, though. I've actually never held it against you. Really? Oh. I'm sorry that I held it against you, Azula. You never deserved that. No, I didn't. But I forgive you. It's not your fault, after all. You had a warped perception of good and evil. I, d I deserve that. <laughs> and anyway, we all know who the real villain of our childhood was. Dad? Lieutenant! He was always the one winning at all the games! He was cheating! He was way older than us! And everyone knows, there's no time for siblings to fight when there's a cousin to team up against. You know what? Yeah. We did team up against Luten quite a bit in those prank wars of his. Anyway, I'm in a great mood. I beat Sokka at Pai Show. Is Sokka good at Pai Show? Uh, neither one of us is good at it. I only half learned it because, you know, I wasn't interested. And I guess he learned from Pian Dao for like a day, so he only half knows the rules. So when Sokka and I play, it's more about who can make up the rules most convincingly and win. Oh. Mm-hmm. Weird. Well, I brought up for him that I saw his girlfriend naked the time that I saw her clothes, and then he just couldn't focus on anything, so I won. Uh-huh. All right. Good job. The Arkham Games. Can you do any voices from the Arkham Games, Zuzu? Uh... I can do Catwoman. You can? Of course I can. I can do anything. All right, do the cat lady. Her name is Cat Woman. Do Cat Woman. Okay, watch this. <clears throat> Meow, you handle the punching. I'll handle the quips. <laughs> All right, that was pretty nice. Isn't there that one guy that's always dressing in green in those games? Oh, yes. The Riddler. He's fun. No, 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 no. There's no way you could have solved that riddle. You're cheating! Cheating, I tell you, Batman! Oh, wow. You sound just like Sokka when we were playing Pai Show earlier, and I said I'd seen Suki naked. <laughs> that wasn't the flex I was trying to go for. Azula, can you do Harley Quinn? Hmm. You tell me. Gee, Mr. J, don't you want to take a spin on your Harley? Vroom, vroom! Not now, Harley! I have to figure out how to get rid of the Batman! 
once and for all. Eh, it's a living. I don't know why that clown sounds like dad. He sounds like dad, right? I think it all the time. I think it's the same actor that plays him for the Ember Island players. You know what? That would make sense. Mm -hmm. They don't have that many different actors. Despite them having a lot of money because they do political pieces. You want to know the best part about when I told Sokka that I saw Suki naked? What's that? He wasn't distressed just because he was worried about her. He was distressed because he was picturing it. He was picturing you stripping his girlfriend. And putting on her clothes, which means we were both stripping. <laughs> so he was picturing both of you. <laughs> you should have okay. seen how red his face got. And then I pointed out Tylee and May also stripped. <laughs> so you just made a teenage boy picture a bunch of young... Saka's not pretty... a teenager anymore. He's like 20. He's the same age as you, isn't he? Or he's a year younger he's than a, you. I think he's a year younger. He's okay. the same age as May, right? Sorry, you made a young... You made a young man who is known for wooing a lot of girls fantasize about his girlfriend and a bunch of other pretty girls all being naked at the same time. And so I won. That's what war is, Zuko. You do whatever it takes. I won the game. Congratulations. You realize that means I was naked with May too. Azula, you're my sister. I don't really mind... And I don't like to picture you naked. Really? Really. Liar! <laughs> You're a bad person. No, I'm not. Look, I don't like to picture you naked. You don't like to picture me naked. It's fine. It's normal. Azula, do you like the impression of you that the Ember Island actors did? Um, well... All of those impressions have to get run by Daddy and his propaganda ministry, so, like, I'm not really allowed to not like it, if that makes sense. Or I wasn't then. I haven't really watched it again to think about how I feel about it. I hear they did rewrites, though. They made it so that you kill me and Dad kills Aang. Oh. Because they made it while Dad was still No, 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 power. they're doing a revival. Did you hear? That, I no, I didn't know. Uh, no, no, they changed it to no longer make it a propaganda piece. Oh. But I hear the ending is all wrong. Like, there's this part where you're an Omashu and you touch Katara's scarf now. It's really weird. What? Yeah, and Aang is always talking about how he has this heavy burden and he never does anything fun. Katara doesn't wear a scarf. Aang yeah. doesn't... Aang never likes to talk about burdens. Yeah, Sokka's light-skinned now and, and everyone's constantly talking about what a great warrior he is. Katara doesn't have a personality. I don't know. It's their new that version. That all wrong. Yeah. No, Sokka's not a pervert. I just put the idea in his head. He was really upset at me for it. He was like, respect their hypothetical privacy. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm in War Minister Chin's bedroom. Sokka is one year younger than Zuko, same age as May, and Katara's the same age as me. And so is Tylee. Azula, don't ever do those voices in public. You'll be in the back of a van. Try and get me. Hi, show me the goods. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, let's... All right, fine. I guess we're doing this. I heard that uh, Sokka wanted to write a play called Two Kings, Two Furious. Yeah, he did. It's about you and Zuko going on adventures and uh, solving mysteries and crimes. Something like that, yeah. But it was like number two kings, two furious. Both of them number two. Yeah, that was his joke. And then the sequel he wanted to call it was two kings, two furious. It takes two, two furious. <laughs> okay, we're doing this now. They're asking if you're a gay icon since you don't like imagining naked girls. I'm... I'm not a gay icon, and just because I don't like to picture naked girls doesn't mean I don't like them. I'm just honorable like that. Oh, you're so honorable. It's As rude. you kill a bunch of soldiers. <laughs> These are fake soldiers, and they're with War Minister Chin, and they're the enemy, and they want me dead, okay? Oh, now you're sounding like me, Zuzu. Look, we went through a whole thing about how maybe you had more points than I was originally willing to give you back then, okay? Maybe. 
Anyway, still thinking fire about bands. May. I see. See, on these streams, Zuko always tries to pretend like he's over May and he doesn't like her. That's just him being a bitter ex. You should see him when he's not on stream crying into his Whoa, pillow. Whoa, that guy just shot his friend for no reason. Friendly fire. It happened. He happens. was not even aiming anywhere near me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, such an honorable person. Look at all these honorable corpses. <laughs> It's fine. I don't I don't have a lot of time to dedicate to doing this quietly. Besides, I did the last one super quietly and that one was that one went well. Oh, a wolf. Yeah. They have mutated hounds here. You killed it. No, now you're sounding like Toph. I just don't think it's very nice. Well, no, I don't either, but it was about to kill me. I had no Where's choice. Where's Moon Moon and Sun Sun? Uh, that's a good Come point. here, little baby. Come here, little wolf. Oh, sweet thing. Come sit in my lap. I won't let the mean old fire lord kill you. Hi, War Minister Chen. Stand in the presence of a million dead and ask them if honor matters. Their silence is your answer. That's a pretty, pretty deep quote. Sounds like something Uncle would say. It does. By the way, have you guys talked to Ursa lately? How's y'all's relationship with your mother at the moment? Oh, actually, before you answer that, do what? you think I should show War Minister Chin who I am? That it's your thing. I would. I would be like, screw you. Okay, good. But... We're in agreement. I mean, I showed Long Feng who I was eventually. Actually, I did it from the start. You! You're the masked villain we've been searching for. You! Well, it doesn't matter. I can't believe you came back here. Tonight, we can tie up loose ends. This time, Corvo, you'll face your execution instead of... Uh, I'll let you have your villainous monologue, War Minister Chin, because, uh... The moment you actually see me, it's not going to go well for you. So again, Zuzu, they're asking about relationship with mom and if you've seen her lately. Um, Zuzu has. He hangs out with her sometimes. Yeah, I, I've i seen her a little bit ago. I haven't been in the Fire Nation as much, so I kind of have been avoiding her. I know we should talk or whatever. I'm just not in the mood to hear from her and all her excuses. Wow. You cut his head clean off. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh. Oh, they just got zapped. Azula, how did you see out of the Kimaru Kage mask? It only had one eye. Oh, it's like a special theater mask. It has a small slit that's disguised by the black paint uh, on the pattern on it, so it actually has two. Zuko, would you let Katara heal your burn? I would have said that a while ago, but now, no, I, I would choose to keep it. I don't even think she can heal your eye. I mean, it's if she, a scar. It can't be healed. Well, it's a, I don't know if that spirit water that she used to heal Ang would work on my scar or not. I guess it doesn't matter, huh? No, it doesn't matter. Cause, like I said, I've, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with it anymore. Anyway, security room key. More bullets. Azula, you know your mom loves you, right? You should talk to her for real. It's just... She's difficult. She has a new daughter. She replaced me with, with my little replacement, Kiyi. Kiyi's not your replacement. Oh, yeah? She's not my replacement? How come she calls you Zuzu, huh? She only started doing that because she heard you do it. Azula, do you like Aang? Oh, yeah, I like him fine. He's actually one of the better ones. He's fine. Ooh, you could steal that coin from the table. Yeah, hold on. Why are you choking her? I just was gonna put her to sleep. She wasn't even doing anything. No, she wasn't. You just like hurting women, I guess. I do not. <laughs> you just slammed her head against that. There we go. 
She'll wake up. She won't remember any of this. Anyway. I can hear Tina Belcher screaming non-canonical. Non-canonical! Non-canonical! Who's Tina Belcher? I don't know. All right. My main question is, can any of you eat a lime? Oh, easily. Like a... I prefer limes to lemons. I can eat a whole lime or a whole lemon. I don't care. I feel nothing. Zuko's a little baby about it. Hey. He can barely handle his sour. Look, I just don't like lemons, okay? I could just eat them, just like they are. Just fine. Oh, I thought you for a second you were saying you were going to eat me. So you do think about things like that, huh, Zuko? Ha! We found the truth about you! What? What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. You don't know what you're talking about, Azula. Yes, yeah, Zuko, maybe we should replace you with me as Fire Lord because you harmed women. These aren't real women. It doesn't... It's... From Bob's Burgers? I don't know what that is, Tiffany. Sorry. It's a burger. No one knows what Bob's Burgers is around here. And so no one could do the... Ha! 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 That Tina Belcher does, because none of us knows what that is. Azula, the Earth King, has invited you to Lake Lao Guy. <laughs> I am happy to accept. He's gonna regret it. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. His chambers can be reached by the balcony. 935, all right. I like how you still do not care about any of the journals or diaries or books. Look, they're logged. If I really want to, I can go look at them. But, but you know honest. you won't. Chat, would you really willingly... Oh, oh great. Now Azula distracted me and I died. You don't know what a burger is? Why are I... you always blaming me for your failures? No, we don't know what a burger is. What's a burger? Yeah, what is a burger? Anyway, A bunch was... of meat with buns between them? Oh, we have, like, bao. I know yeah. what bao is. And I think... In certain places, uh, in the Earth Kingdom, they have, they, they call them tortillas? Oh, no, it's naan. It's flatbread. That's right, they call it naan. It's naan, yeah. Right, right, right. Tortillas was that one Ember Island play about yeah. a, a mythical land. They probably don't know pizza either. What's pizza? Pizza? I, okay, now you're making stuff I think they're just making things up. They're totally making foods up. Anyway, as I was saying, chat... Let's be real, I don't think any of you would want to watch me read a bunch of excerpts from books rather than play the game and try to reclaim What happened with Long Fang after the coup? I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's a eunuch, so I don't know what future he's going to have after the coup anyway. I think they just left him in prison, right? Do you know what happened to him? I don't talk to the Earth King. I don't know. I... I, I on. I, I don't know what happened after you dealt with him. I could ask Sokka. Yeah, but, but I think he's kind of mad at me right now for beating him at Paisho. I think he's more upset about the whole naked girlfriend thing. We had a Shouldn't system. tortillas be a sun warrior thing? Maybe. Maybe that's where you heard about it. Is that where you heard about tortillas, maybe? Oh, you know what? Maybe the sun warriors, yeah. We had a specific agreement and I planned around it. The royal protector wasn't part of that agreement. You assured me that she and the girl would be alone so the price of the job just went up oh you guys want me to read another part of zuko's journal let me go get it hold on um please don't and of course there she goes ah, great Can you hide it? it's not in the same place it was before. of course i hid it well i'm gonna have to find it now well boo-hoo found it ah uh. How did you find it? Because you're bad at hiding things. You only have like four places you hide things. And I know where all of them are. Have you ever considered having children to see if you could be a better mother than Ursa, Azula? I mean, I don't have anyone currently in my life to have children with. But if I did, I'd want to have a son. I'd name him Kaito. Because it means ocean, but it also means star child. 
That's nice. If I had a child, I'd name her Azumi if she was a daughter. Fountain? You're going to marry a fountain? No, I'm not going to marry a fountain. Then like, where'd you get the name Azumi from? Because every single kiss I've ever had has happened in front of a fountain. Spinach pizza goes hard. What is spinach pizza? What is pizza? What I know what spinach is. What are these people is. talking about? What is pizza? And also, are they trying to sabotage us by talking about food when you and I are, like, doing the whole, like, fasting thing? Can one of you tell me what pizza is? I'm trying to imagine what it would actually be. Like, describe it with foods that we have, if you can. All right, let's see. I'll read some of Zuko's journal. What time period do you guys want to hear about? Do you want to hear about when he was a little kid? Do you want to hear about when he was a young teen? Do you want to hear about when he was banished? Do you want to hear about recently? Where should I read? Uh... Actually, let's read about what you have to say about fountains and find out about the Izumi thing. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, great. Fire Lord's journal. You always change what you say to it depending on your, your life. Oh, did you just expose him to the people? Yeah. Oh, so he's the reason this place is sick with plague. Mm-hmm. He exposed him. This is exciting. Yeah, there he goes. You took him out. I did it your way, actually. Oh no, people care about each other. What a shock. For real. Yeah, except for the part where you thought All you right. could control rats. Here we go. I'm going to read about Izumi. Mm -mm. Let's see. Fountains. You have multiple entries here. It seems in my life, fountains have always been ever-present whenever a romantic moment happens. Perhaps they are a marker of milestones on my journey. A journey to discover the truth of my heart. Zuko, did you really write it like this? It's so cheesy. Yes, I did. May and I have had a lot of different ups and downs. However, I can never forget that moment by the fountain. Azula put an apple on her head and I charged to rescue her once Azula lit the apple on fire. I accidentally shoved her into the fountain, a fact which May held against me well into our teens. She would later encourage Jin to throw knives, or icicles, I should say, as makeshift knives, at my head, causing me to fall into the fountain, during which May exclaimed, Now we're even. Yeah, that happened. She makes my heart patter, and even after she put my life in danger that way, I couldn't help but be happy to see her smiling. Disgusting, Zuzu. Alright, that's what you said at the first one, but you have another entry here about fountains. Wanna see it? Well, no, but you're gonna read it anyway. Alright, chat, I'm gonna do it. Here we go. Jin, the girl from Bossing Say. Initially, I was very hesitant to talk to her, given that I was undercover, but Uncle encouraged me, and I couldn't find a way to back out of it. She was very lively and kind and patient with me, even though all I wanted to do was crawl into a ball and not say another word to her. By the time we were at the fountain, I knew I had botched the date and couldn't understand why she was so excited to spend time with me. I was just counting down the hours for it to be done. Instead, I found her crushing disappointment that the Latin terms were not lit and knew that I could resolve it. Against my better judgment, I lit them for her, hoping against hope she would either not figure it out or would and would keep it to herself. To this day, I don't know which one she did, but she certainly did not make a big deal out of it and instead gave me a kiss. 
My first kiss. She was your first kiss? Yes, she was. So you hadn't kissed May before that? No. How could I ever forget? Whenever I look at a fountain, I look at her as well. Wow, that's a pretty good, good reason why fountains are in your mind. Yep. All right, there's one more here, though. And it's not about Jin or May, but it's also about a fountain. Yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to love this one. All right, let me see. Oh, I thought it was going to be Suki. I didn't expect this. Yeah, I... This is really juicy, chat. You're never going to guess what the third fountain entry says. I'm just waiting, because it's really funny. What are you waiting for? I'm just waiting for your reaction. I, I already know what you're going to do. <laughs> All right, the third fountain entry. Uh... <clears throat> Today I asked Toph Beifong if she had any hints for me. Tips, as it were. I have already been incorporating water bending into my fire bending, and my fire bending has improved markedly because of it. I was wondering if earth bending could also be used to help my fire bending get to the next level. Toph Bei Fong showed me some earth bending forms and how to ground myself to the earth. When incorporating it into my fire, I was struggling to understand what she was saying. So Toph pointed to the fountain and told me to imagine that inside of my chi, shooting up forward like a fountain. When I asked her if she meant forward as in in front of me or forward as in up, she clarified again, like a fountain, you dummy. How does a fountain work? I then attempted to do so, feeling the chi inside of the earth, breathing it into my stomach and feeling them your writing is terrible, Zuzu, I swear. You have like a middle school's writing. Well, I wonder why. It's just really bad handwriting. Feeling my stomach and the chi of the earth well together as one, I thrust my fist upwards and let my emotions explode out of the ground. The ground tore asunder and out of it shot a red flame. Not as hot as other flames, but far more concussive and with excellent uses for defense. Defense, as you may know, is a weakness to firebending. We are all offense with very little defense. This has given me a whole new way to think of firebending by letting my emotions burst out like a fountain of fire out of the earth. Congratulations, Azula. You've just exposed all my... I will forever be grateful to Toph Bei Fong for teaching me this. To this day, I regret not taking her on that life-changing field trip. I will have to make it up for her. After all, perhaps our friendship is the greatest substitute of all. The greatest journey of all is being with her in my life. Wow, so all three girls have an association with fountains. Yep. Happy... So, Jin, May, Toph, all three of them. Oh. Careful with my diary, please. I didn't mean to drop it. This is why I don't keep a journal. Yeah, I, I mean, look at all these audiographs. I mean, I guess we did just use an audio journal to get rid of War Minister Chen. To get Chen. rid of War Minister Chen. That's what I'm saying. And so this journal you have could be used against you politically. You should probably burn it. Well, I mean, there is one defense mm -hmm. against it. Nobody can read it except you and me. Someone said, what about Katara? Oh, there's entries in here about Katara. <sighs> a lot of them, actually. You talk about her a lot. Yeah, And but... I suppose the association between fountains and water is a lot more obvious. Yeah, you're going to be disappointed if you're going to look for fountains there. So you're telling me May, Jin, Toph, and Katara all have associations with water. Yes. And you want to name your first daughter Izumi. Yes. Or, or with fountains, I should say. So any one of them could have a child with you named Izumi. That's interesting. What do you think, chat? Do you think May, Jin, or Toph? A 
apparently someone is asking questions about something about a book four. I don't quite understand. Well, maybe you need to read more books, Zuko. Okay, I thought maybe... Zuko's got more riz than you, Azula. Never forget Chan! Who told you about that? I did. You told them about... Why would you do that? That's very embarrassing. Well, because Ty Lee said she Listen, must. I offered Chan what I thought every man wanted. The only men I really hung out with were my daddy and Zuko, and both of them wanted the throne and world domination back then. Can you blame me for offering it to him? It's not my fault he's weak. Right. What are your goals for now, Azula? To be a good person. That's Lord Without me. Of course. All right, the White Lotus is trying to figure things out now that War Minister Chin's been there. What are your goals business. for now, Azula? Well, to be a good person, to figure out my own destiny, to help Zuko not drive the Fire Nation into the ground or get deposed or assassinated. Wow, we have a vote for May, a vote for Jin, and someone saying I'm thinking tough. So everyone's split. Azula, if you did have a journal, what would you write about? Mm, probably I would draw maps, I would come up with strategies, I would jot down my philosophy and thoughts. I wouldn't make it so personal, though. That's only for myself. I wouldn't put that in a diary where I could be easily exposed by a political enemy. That's just rookie content. Anyway, Azula, now that the War Minister Chin's been put out of business and the White Lotus is going through... Uh, you're set to become the new, uh, ruler. Oh, that's what you're drawing. Oh, look it! I'm such a good artist. Is that Sokka? Look it! That's Sokka right there! He's dying! Oh yeah, it is Sokka! Look it! That's Sokka! <laughs> you drew somebody... I drew you, and you killed Sokka! I mean, I guess I did have an honorable duel with his dad. Look at There he is, his sword! That's even his space sword falling down! It is his space sword. That's so funny. It's this one, right? Like that one's Sokka. Yeah, the one that the curse is Yeah, that one's Sokka. Because there's the space sword. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of being afraid. When I'm Empress, I'm going to make everyone else afraid instead. Just like you did, Corvo. She's even talking like you now, using Let's fear. Let's see. Pizza. Earth Kingdom wheat base with Fire Nation tomato sauce. And toppings, meats, veggies, seafood, cheese, baked with fire bending intensity, and a shareable feast cut in slices. Oh, like a flatbread! I know what a flatbread is. They have those in the Earth Kingdom. They don't usually put cheese on them, but I could see how it would be good with cheese. Put some Air Nomad cheese on there. Did Sokka retrieve a space sword? I don't know. Did he? Sorry, what was the question? Did Sokka ever retrieve a space sword? No. Not to my knowledge. We should go get it. Couldn't Toph just, like, sense for it? I... 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 D we, we only know, like, kind of where he lost it. It may be underwater. It's, uh, it's hard to know. Some of them are voting that you should uh, end up with me rather than any of those girls. Come here, Zuko. Give your Excuse sister me? a kiss. Wait, 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 what are you Come saying? here. What, what, For the what? fans. I, I, mm -hmm. uh. I would have kissed your scar, but it's on the wrong side. It's not on the wrong side. I mean, it's not on my side. Oh, well, yeah. The wrong side to kiss. That, that, that's, that's... <laughs> You're so defensive. Anyway, I... Should I give you a kiss back to be nice? Can you even handle it without looking disgusted? I don't... I'm not gonna look disgusted. Alright. Go ahead, try it. <laughs> he came to kiss my cheek and I zapped him. Ow! Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. I did it lightly. Well, no, it wasn't bad. It, it was, was basically just... a static shock. Don't be a baby. Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, no. How did Sokka get his boomerang back? I think he just made a new one, didn't he, Sokka? I think. Either that or... Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. The poison work is magic. Is he dead? They poisoned me? It cost me a month's profit. 
Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent, and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. They betrayed me. Azula, have you ever heard of someone named Melina of Outworld? I think she'd, you'd get along well, unless she tries to eat you. I do know one Malina. She's not spelled like that. They were watching me do it, but not close enough. Maybe you'll survive it. Oh, Samuel saved me. All the people slaughtered in the name of this cause. Was our crimes a state? And maybe they figured it'd be too hard to control Emily with you around. Could be they're right on that score. They betrayed you. I'll drop you in a boat. To ship out myself before they smother me in my sleep. That's the next thing. Makes the most sense. If you're lucky, you'll wake up and find your way out of this doomed city. If not, well, goodbye. You got betrayed. They betrayed me too. You really don't know how to read people, Zuzu. I could have seen that coming. Because I basically pulled that on Long Fang. Azula, who generates lightning faster? You or your father, Ozai? Well, now it's definitely me, because he can't bend lightning at all anymore. Yeah. I can't believe Lau's done this. <laughs> wow, apparently Lau Beifong's, like, month-long poison was amateur work. Who's this Dowd they're bringing me this to This is anyway? you coming to my society after you've been betrayed by your own council, asking for help again. Didn't you have a name for these people that I'm having trouble remembering? Who, the Thunder Guard? Right. Yes, because before the storm, you hear the thunder. Right, I guess. That's what I called them. You've really expanded them since, since then. Now there's a lot more than, like... Speaking of lightning, I thought you had to charge it up, Azula. Oh, I did. I just got better at it, that's all. Oh. Uh, mind explaining how you created a freaking ball out of it, especially during a time where you're certainly not in a balanced state. Oh, this is easy. A lot of people ask me, Azula, how do you do lightning even when you're having a mental breakdown? Azula, how do you do it even when you're so upset? I have this one neat trick where you don't need a clear head uh, to be able to lightning bend. It's called disassociating. <laughs> Wait. What's Jen doing here? Pineapple does exist. We have it in the Fire Nation, but we're the only ones that have it. It's too tropical for everyone else. He just threw- Shen, why'd you throw all my shit away? Oh, you don't know who Jen is, do you? No, why would I know who that is? He's the person who I got the whole idea for the blue spirit from, although when he wore it, it was Hong a red Shen? mask. Hong Shen? Yeah. You told me Hong his Shen. name is Hong Shen. Hong Shen, yeah. Why'd you say Shen? Oh, probably because I'm upset that I've been betrayed. Oh. And also he's the one who killed Mom. Well, great, I've been betrayed. I lost my cool sword and my gun and my crossbow and... We do have pineapples in the Avatar world, I told you. It's we just have they're, pineapples. They're only in the Fire Nation. We're the only ones tropical enough to grow them. Hi, Jet. We have mangoes, too. We do. They're actually very tasty. Although, I prefer mine dried out. You would. Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling the Empire, and they need to never let them manipulate them? Of course they I never let them manipulate you, Azula. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. I can't wait for you to find out how this turns out. I mean, I've been betrayed. It can't get any worse. Would you guys ever bring Ozai to live, or is he dangerous? 
I guess that's up to you, Zuzu. Even without his bending, he's still very dangerous. Well, mentally, he manipulates. Yeah, that's... But he's pretty calm. He mostly just sits in prison. He doesn't cause too much trouble. I think trouble. he's happy that they let me keep my mask, okay? You're happy that what? Or you think he's happy that what? I think he's happy that he doesn't really have to, you know, do anything anymore. He just kind of gets to sit around. Yeah. I thought pineapples and mangoes would be a water tribe thing. They can't really grow them in the North and South Pole. Wow, this is really dumb of them. They left me with a bunch of bricks to throw at these wooden planks over and over and over again. Do y'all have cheesecake? Oh, the Air Nomads did, right? Aang's, Aang's made that yeah, before. They, the they Air Acolytes of, had to find the recipe for it. They, uh, yeah, they apparently like yaks make... Yak milk. Yeah. Yeah, they make a cheese out of that and they make a cheesecake. So yeah, they do have it. What is the most ghetto district of the Fire Nation? <laughs> How am I supposed to know? I've never been there. <laughs> Dear Hong Shen, finding Zuko in possession of the Blue Spirit Mask could have been an elaborate frame job, but now the newly minted Lord Regent, I don't recognize that name, someone from the White Lotus, I guess, is announcing to all the city that he is proof leaking Zuko to the Blue Spirit. The bounty is 30,000 gold coins, but if Zuko truly is the Blue Spirit and is responsible for all the things the wanted posters accuse him of, I expect the bounty to double. Because we have him alive, we should be able to barter for even more. Regarding Slackjaw, we watched him for a week, and when we were ready to make our move, he suddenly disappeared. Maybe he left the city. Rufio? I think that's Rolfio? Why does the name Rufio sound so familiar? I don't know. I don't... Kind of makes me think of you for some reason. Huh. Okay. Does the North grow fruit in the Spirit Oasis? I've never been to the North. Do they have... They can't possibly grow fruit in the North Pole, right? Uh... I mean, I know that they, like... I know they have berries and stuff. They're saying they have, like, a special spirit oasis where they grow fruit? I don't... I've never been. I don't know. I'll ask Sokka to take me. And then he'll say no, and then I'll tell Hakoda to take me. And then Hakoda will tell Sokka to take me. Knowing you, that... That'll probably definitely work. Anyway, I guess I gotta... Break out of prison for the second time. You know, I heard Turtle Duck is a delicacy in the Fire Nation. Is that true? It's an Earth Kingdom delicacy that came to the Fire Nation, but absolutely it is. We do eat it. Oh, great. There's more freaking hagfish. Zuko never used to eat it as a child because it made him feel too bad to eat a turtle duck. But then one day he ate some when he was with his friends, what, Aang and Toph and all of them. Well, Aang didn't eat any because he doesn't eat meat, but Toph loves roast turtle duck. So they had some and Zuko loved the taste of it. So now he cries over the fact that he loves how turtle duck tastes. Uh... Azula, would you join Dark Side? You'd be perfect Sith in Star Wars. I don't know what that is. A Ooh. Star Wars. A war in the stars, I guess? That stupid fish. I hate that fish. Alright. Uh, okay. Now I'm here... Can I go? Okay, there we are. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, actually, here. Oh. Anyway, yeah, here you go, Azula. Let me just take that diary back now, if you don't mind. Fine. All right. Okay, all right, all right. Now to slowly make my way out of here. Can I just read one more entry? Just one. <sighs> okay, fine. Just one. Oh, someone says, would you say bye? Because I've got to go. Bye, Mina. Uh, say bye, Zuko. Bye, Mina. Thank you for joining. All right, one last entry. This is the last one I'm going to read. K 
Kiki and I were playing today. I don't get enough time to play with her, at least not as much as I'd like to, because I'm always so busy. Something Kiki never stops complaining about, but I guess I can understand. If I was a child her age, I'd also be pretty bored with what the palace is like. I hope she doesn't miss her home too much, and that Mom will take her there whenever she wants to go. Hida is very, very far away and difficult to find, but it would be worth it for her to see some of her old friends. The other day, as I was going to bed, Ki asked if she could come with me. I said it would probably be better for us to go to her room, as assassins sometimes come to mine. When I asked her what was the matter, she said that she missed Azula? Yeah. I don't understand why, because all those two ever do is fight when they're together. But apparently when they are apart, Ki misses her so dearly. She says that Azula is smart and a great firebender, and that she really likes playing with her because Azula is so clever and always comes up with all these great ideas. Oh. However, she's under the impression that Azula doesn't like her very much, and so she gets defensive and the two of them fight. That's not what Key said, that's just my analysis of it. Well, at least my best guess. I'm not very good at reading these sort of things. Hopefully someday they'll be able to get along. I can't help but feel responsible as the older brother that I didn't do better helping them get along. Huh. You're right, Zuko. It is your fault. Is that all you have? Is that really the only thing you have to say about hearing after all that? I think I have to go do something. Wait. You're not upset, are you? No. I have to go do something. All, all right. I'll be back. Okay. I hope you're okay then. Try not to be too boring without me. I. All right. I put your journal back in your bad hiding place that I can easily find. Thank you. All right. Well, then I guess it's just us for now, chat. What in the name of... Okay, hold on. Let me do this. Let it recharge. What, Zuko, what's your thoughts? Can it, oh, okay, that, that message disappeared. Zuko, you are the best. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're right, Pai. She's probably going to go talk to Ki. I hope those two don't get in a fight over this. Zuko, what are your thoughts on fan art between you and Katark, you guys date? I have seen some, like, sketches of such a thing. Um, I mean... have their fun um 
I mean, it's ultimately harmless, although it's a little embarrassing because, you know, neither Katar or I, you know, feel that way. Especially since, you know, she's dating Aang and everything. So it's just kind of... It's just ultimately best to just leave it alone and not pay it any mind. Alright, so my gear's in here. What's my favorite Oh, turtle ducks! Uh, turtle ducks are my favorite type of animal. You kind of think there's more to the story of May dumping me? I mean... I don't know. She made her... She made it perfectly clear. She... Look, May wants somebody who can prioritize her and her alone. The unfortunate thing is I can't really do that. Oh, my gear's all the way over there? All right. Because, you know, I'm Fire Lord. I don't have the... I really don't have the ability to only prioritize one specific person. It's just not something I have the luxury of doing, unfortunately. All right. Can I get any higher? What's in here? Backup power. Oh, I see. Can one boop the snoot of the two dragons? Are uh, you... Uh... I don't know what you're talking about. Look, if you're talking... Okay, Multibar, if you... There's no reason for me to be jealous of me hanging out with other girls. The only girls I hang out with are the Kiyoshi Warriors. And those were her idea. She's the one who brought them. I didn't know that that was even a thing. So I don't know why that's something she'd be upset about. I don't like those things. I don't like those things at all. Anyway. Dispense an empty tank. Which means that there must be a way to fill it somewhere around. Ah, here it is. Do that. Now I'll we'll take this full oil tank. Okay, now the question is, how do I... How do I get it over here? Can I make this jump? No, I cannot. Okay. Alright, so now I gotta find out a way to get it... Oh, wait. Oh, that's much easier. I was making it way harder on myself. Alright, turn the stairs on. There we go. Oh, and that released a bunch of... That disturbed a bunch of rats. Like a whole lot of rats. Okay. Let me go ahead and refill... Um, I'm not sure who you're referring to about this Ren and Shaw, but even if I did have an idea of who they were, I'm sure I would be sworn to secrecy about such a matter. Is this gonna fall? Oh, it certainly seems like it. 
Anyway, I'm just here to get my gear back. I'm just here to get my gear back. Grab the chain. Climb the chain. I gotta tell you, this thing that Toph may or may not have scammed me and Azul into doing, this whole fasting thing is... I've been fine for, like, the whole day, but it's finally starting to kind of wear on me a little bit. Like, I am... I need a key to the rail station. How many... I have four... I need twice that amount if I want to do this. I may not... I, I wonder if I'll even get, get the chance. Ow. Alright, so my gear is in here. There we go. Take you. Throw you out there. Take some coins. Uh, Tiffany, to answer your question, I did. I trained with uh, Master P and Dao. He is the one who taught me the way of the sword. And I'm really proud of how skilled I've become. He said that I was one of his... Uh, one of his best students. Although he never calls me his favorite. He says his favorite is somebody else. Not really sure who. Sokka likes to tell me it's him, but I don't believe that. I, I know so that's just one of Sokka's jokes. So I, I don't know who Master P and Dao's favorite student actually is. Wingless dragons? No, every dragon that we have has wings, like even the baby dragons do. I'm not... I'm not sure what this wingless dragon is. Although I guess... I guess in the old days in history, they used to think of creatures like the Unagi as wingless dragons. I think they called them sea dragons back in the day. Alright. My gear's all the way down here. Yep, another weeper. Oh, there's a lot of... Oh, that's not fun. There's a lot of weepers down there. Okay. Great. Just what I needed. Alright, how am I going to go about this? No, that was the game you heard. Azula's, uh, still off doing something. Oh, actually, this is an idea. Let's 
if I get their attention... Ow! Okay, that was stupid of me. Where are they? Okay, they're all over here. Alright, this is my last shot. There is a badge that can reflect lightning. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I mean, I can redirect lightning if, but it's not really a badge, unless you mean it in a more like metaphorical way. In which case, I suppose. Anyway, that's not important. What's important? Is I have all my all my weapons back. Oh, Zhao! Oh, that's, uh, he became a, re a weeper. I thought his uniform looked peculiar. Well, I guess that's what happened to Zhao. that rune. I want that rune. Oh, damn it. Did I confront Iroh when he lost his son? Uh, I mean, yes, but I'm not proud of it. Uh, though my... The guy who writes my speech tells me uh, that if you check out the book for episode 4, you will see when I confronted uh, my uncle about that. But that's just my speech writer talking. I really don't understand what he's about. Anyway, okay. Another rune. That means I have five... If I collect three more, I can unlock the power to stop time completely, which sounds really fun. So now I just have to make my way all the way over there. This should be fun. Come on, climb. Avoid the poison spraying plants. Oh, hey, those are the rats. Make my way backwards. Yeah, to... to Hongshen. Oh, I don't have the key. All right. Come on, just, just climb the thing. Oh, uh, it's the Moon Moon Wolf. If I heard Sock correctly, I think you're a girl. Hi, hi there. Hi, precious little thing. Please don't bite my hand off. I'd appreciate if you didn't. Zuko, do I still talk to Dad? Yeah, yeah, I, I still talk to Dad.
Oh, also, in case any of you are curious, we do have, uh, one of my advisors said I should mention, we have this thing called uh, a super chat where if you want me or Azula or Sokka to say anything, you just donate a little bit of money. It goes, it, it, it goes straight to reparations that the Fire Nation has to pay for, you know, a hundred years of war. Uh, so... If you want me to say something, literally whatever you want. If you want Azula to say whatever you want, you want Sokka to say whatever you want, uh, you can do that here, and you know that'll be fun. Uh, if you do it for Azula or Sokka, you'll have to wait a bit. Uh, both of them are. I, I noticed that whatever Azula is busy doing, Sokka's helping her. So. Uh, so to answer your question. Brew master, uh, Azula had a thing that I guess came up last minute, and Sokka is helping her take care of it. She'll be back, but until then, it's just me at the moment. Uh, how much longer on this stream? Uh, so we started at four thirty. 5.30. Uh, one more hour. This stream will end in an, in, a, in, a, in an hour from now. Oh. Oh, this did not go well for you guys. Let me just put you out of your misery. Can't carry any more grenades. Unfortunate. Ow. I have... I really don't like these fucking... Uh, I broke it. Oh, alright. Well, Azula wasn't here, but I... Uh, we had this whole thing going where we try not to swear. I just... I lost. I accidentally messed that up. That's on me. Yeah, Zul and I have hugged each other plenty of times when we were children. It's... It's like, come on, we're not that messed up. We had a childhood. A very bad one. But it was still a childhood. Yeah, no thank you. You can't blue spirit better than me. I have one crossbow, seven bullets, five grenades. All right. All right. These waters are greedy. They will never give back what they have taken. Have a good night, Pi. Thank you for uh, dropping it, and I'll make sure Azula hears that you said hello. She's always happy when you're here. As I am, as, as am I. Oh, I need the rail station office key? That's right, they did say that. that. Alright, now I can get inside Hongshen's base. Oh, bye Brewmaster. How do you, you send art to us? Uh, so, uh, in order to answer that question, Knight in Starlight, do you have a 
what does uh what does Sokka call it? Do you have a Twitter? Because if you do, you can you can ping us uh whatever art that you make. I also hope Azula comes back soon, multi-power. But you know Azula, she's always very punctual about assignments that she has to do. I miss her too. Are there any runes nearby? Oh, there's one right in front of me, okay. I don't... I'm gonna be honest, I I don't have the stealth in me anymore. I got betrayed. Metal bend. Okay, you know what? Yeah, suck on that. I was doing really good at the stealth before, but now I've been betrayed, and I kind of lost my taste for the stealth at this point. I just want to save Azula, even though I already saved her once, but now I gotta save her again, because the White Lotus betrayed me! Is it... Is it really in this water? Oh. Oh, I don't want to go in there. Could I have beaten Dad at Sozin's Comet? That depends. I... You have to understand, he was even better a firebender than even Azula was at that time. There's only one condition that I would be able to beat him under, and I kind of blew it during the black during the Day of Black Sun, because the only way I could have possibly beaten Dad is if he didn't yet know that I could redirect his lightning. So he would he would shoot lightning at me, and he wouldn't be ready for when I suddenly redirected it and shot it back at him. If I had hit him, the lightning would kill him, and that would be that. However, if he already knows, then no, I don't think I would have been able to beat him during the comet. Besides, like I said, it wasn't my destiny. It was Aang's. And so it was never my place to try and defeat my father. It is my place, however, to keep him locked away and in jail. Okay, so... The rune's in this building, so I have to find my way into it. At least there's no hagfish here. The hagfish are probably my least favorite enemy in the game because they can swim, and I can't. Can I get up there? Not from here. All right. Get up. Get up, Zuko. Let's climb this, climb that. Let's make our way across. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to have a talk with Uncle about the White Lotus betraying me. Uh, I'll definitely have some words about how this came to pass. Alright, here's Hongshen's base. This 
prison where he worked. The bodyguard who was with the Empress since the capital gave me. Yes. I feel that we've reached a turning point now. Yes. Good luck on your assignment when you're permitted to leave. Uh... Nightstar, if you want to depict my scar, you are welcome to. If you'd rather not, that is fine. Tried to stealth again and failed immediately. That's that's what I get. That's what I get. I should just sleep darts. All right, that that'll that'll probably come in handy. Anyway, the rune is below me. Okay. So I need to make my way down. An assassin getting assassinated during assassin training. How fitting. I gotta be getting close to this rune, like, I just... That's all I want. I can't carry any more bolts. And that's all that these guys have are bolts. I guess they're assassins, that makes sense. Orange is not an awful color. That was just May's whole thing. I really like the color orange. You know, especially since I'm a firebender, you kind of have to. Although my favorite color is red, but... Orange is a very close second. Well. Thanks, Roran. Harder to find than my honor, ha ha ha. Good riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had, 
so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? None like the last. None like her. I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress. I know your footsteps, Corvo. Do you? Do you think you can hide from a hunter of men? I've never played the Spyro games, actually. This is the first time I've even seen what Azula's been calling video games. You have all my powers, of course you do. <sighs> Alright, that was, that was a lot. Oh, and I'm still going, okay. Alright, that was intense. Alright, so, Ride, Reed, however I say that name. Azula and I are pretty certain that Toph was pranking us about this whole fasting thing. Uh, so I don't know if she actually believes in it or not. Maybe she does. But, that being said, Azula is doing it just to prove that she can, and I'm doing it because I'm choosing to believe that Toph isn't scamming me. Although, I'm not allowed to eat till the sun goes down, and the sun's still up over here, and I'd really like to eat food, because I haven't eaten anything all day. But as long as I don't think about it, I'll manage. That was like the first proper actual, like, fight fight. That was, Hong Shen really knows how to, has all my powers and stuff, he really knew how to fight. I, bar I barely made it through all that. Wish he would have fought me one-on-one, -on -one, though, but I guess that's not how... It, I guess he just didn't want to be honorable. I was honorable. I didn't shoot you. I have one more surprise for you. I asked for my life. When I killed your empress and 
took her daughter. Something broke inside me. Now I see the design on the back of your hand. The mark of the outsider himself. And I remember all I've done. The years of waiting for the right moment to step forward from an alley and drive a knife between the ribs of some noble. All the money exchanging hands of one rich bastard or another. Killing for one of them one year, then being paid to kill him in return the next. But what have I accomplished? More than you have, or much less. I remember bending at the shrines, listening as the outsider whispered that I was going to change things, that I was somehow important. It felt good. It made me believe I was powerful. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing. The men you worked for asked you to kill for them, but you found some other way. You took a path I could have followed. So my life is in your hands. Make your choice. And you choose mercy. Extraordinary. Fine, he gets to live. It's the honorable thing to do. If Aang wouldn't kill my dad, despite him completely destroying his entire people, then... Then, yeah. He killed my mom, but... Doesn't mean I have to kill him in return. Anyway. Well, War Minister Chen's not a problem anymore. Zhao's not a problem anymore. All I have to worry about now is Lao Pei Fong and the rest of the White Lotus. Wait a second. Oh, here's where the rune was. It all came full circle in the end, guys. The rune was down here the entire time. No, my mom is not alive. Hong Shen literally stabbed her at the very beginning of this. I, I watched it happen. How many does that make? Two more. I need two more. Supposedly there are three more in this place. Maybe in the sewers. Incandescent paste. Oh, I can finally buy incendiary bolts. I can finally buy proper firebending. The idea of them being imposters, White Lotus, is very strange. I don't know why Lao Beifong would be employing in the... would be working with fake Lotus... White Lotus. Alright, 
right, so there's a rune up there. A bone charm over there. I suppose I may as well go for that. the charm. Here it is. Alright, what do these new bone charms do? Swift shadow while in stealth mode. Takes slightly more time. Alright. Oh, I can equip more too. Yeah, I'll t take that. Sure, rat scent. Hence, yeah. Alright, with all those on... to make my way up, I suppose. A rail cart. Ah, oh, here we are. Alright, where is it? It's on the top of that building, okay. So I just gotta climb. Not the hardest thing. Jammed, okay. Oh, all right. Well, isn't that lovely? All right, I need to get up there, but how do I get up there? You cannot kill the rat plague. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what more Minister Chen thought he could do. Apparently, is completely control a plague of rats. That didn't work out so well for him. Oh, okay. Those rails are all electric. Alright. Alright, okay. That, that, that was interesting how that worked. Let's try that again.
Oh, Azula, hi! You're never gonna believe it. You're also not gonna believe it, but what, you tell me first. No, you tell me first. Mine is better. Oh, uh, I battled Hong Shen. Uh-huh. And, uh, I defeated him. Okay, I, I thought scared. he was your friend, but sure. Well, he killed Mom. Oh, okay, I thought you killed Mom. No, no, I was there, I watched Mom die. Yeah, but in the court of public opinion, you did well, it. Well, yeah, I got framed for it, but Hong Shen's the one who actually did it. That's all that matters. Anyway, I let him live after defeating him. Okay. And, uh, that, that's it. We're caught up to my current, uh, situation. Mine is way better. You want to hear what happened to me? What happened to you? Okay. What happened to me is that I went to find Sokka to apologize about the whole Suki thing because I felt kind of bad about it, right? All right. Okay. But when I got there, are you listening? Are you listening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. He let me audition for his play! He let you audition for his play? For his little local play he's doing in the Southern Water Tribe. The Two Kings Too Furious one? Yes, and now I did such a good job that I'm definitely getting a good part. Congratulations. You see, being a good person gets rewarded. Well, yes, it does. That's... Did everybody miss me? They did. Do you want to hear my monologue I did? Sure. Go ahead. All right. <clears throat> You're not listening. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, all right. <clears throat> I can see your whole history behind your eyes. You were born with nothing, and you've had to claw and connive your way to the top. But true power, the divine right to rule, is something you're born with. They're waiting to see how this all turns out. But you know, and I know. What do you think? Pretty good. I had to do a comedic one, too. What was the comedic one? I just pretended to be you. And then I said, it's okay, you can laugh. It's funny. Anyway, you can go ahead and do what you were doing. Well, everybody's happy to have you back. So how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing all right. Like I don't even remember why I left. I'm just glad that I got to do the play. You just said you left because... You said you left to go apologize talking about the whole Suki nonsense. Oh, that's right! I did go apologize, and I ended up getting into his play. So you see, apologizing and being a good person is the right thing to do. That, that remember, is... kids, remember to be a good person. She's right. Be a good person, everybody. It, it pays off. Oh, someone asked Suka, who would you date if you couldn't get back with May? Did you answer that question? Uh, I... How long ago was that? I probably missed that. Yeah. Well, who would you if you couldn't get back with May? I'm working on that. <laughs> he doesn't know. Azula, you want a dragon too? I'm making Zuko one. <gasps> I would love my own dragon! Especially if it's better than Zuko's. Oh, everybody missed me. I do have friends. I told you they missed you. Do you want to hear all my friends? I have friends. I definitely have friends. Friends, friends, friendly friends. Time to meet my friends. Zuko. Hello. Sokka. The rest of Zuko's friends. Sometimes Tylee and May. L Logan. Zuko's bodyguard. Uh. The, the, the wolves. Moon, moon, and sun, sun. I have friends. I definitely have friends. Friends, friends, so many friends. Go and meet my friends. What about Key? What about her? All right. Just kidding, I invited her to the play. Oh, that was nice of you. You never know what to expect with me. You never expect the unexpected. You're never prepared. No, no, I'm not. Ooh, Night in the Starlight said they're making us dragons. Isn't that nice? Oh, that's very sweet. They said they need three colors from each of us. Three colors for me, I would pick blue, red, and purple, probably, right? No, actually, can I have blue, purple, and silver? That's what I want, blue, purple, and silver. Uh, if you need three colors from me, I would be red, orange, and a little green. Why not gold? Gold feels like Dad's color, honestly. Gold is a great color. Okay, fine. What about red, gold, and green? Sure, red, gold, and green. I always have to help you, Zuzu. I, I, no, you inserted your own help in there. <laughs> Do you 
remember when we were kids and I had friends and you didn't have any friends? Yes. And I always tried to get you to play with us so that you wouldn't be all alone. Yes. That's true. I remember that. You never thanked me for that. Ooh, did he die from being poor and dirty? No, I think they died from being sick. So, from being poor and dirty? Sure. I'm not saying it's their fault. I care. It's really sad that they died from being poor and dirty. Hey, Moon Moon, Sun Sun, could you, like, shut shut? Come here, Moon Moon. Come here, Sun Sun. Oh, sweet Moon Moon. Sweet Sun Sun. Sokka isn't very good with names. I mean, he named his hawk Hockey. Right. I renamed it, you know. To, uh, Hakoda the Second, I believe? Well, because I thought Hockey was short for Hakoda the Second, and then I found out that wasn't the reason. I was very disappointed. So I changed it. Ooh, Zuko, I have bad news for you. What's that? You only have 30 minutes left. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? Die, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> then perish. <laughs> uh, uh, Dad right. would have beat you if he saw that. Well, he would Oh, no, he wouldn't have. He would have ordered someone else to do it. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. That, that's, there we go. Uh, that was honestly... That was funny. The, the you know, of that. recently, uh, someone was showing me this movie, and there's these two siblings in it, and one of them was always good at everything, and everyone liked her better, especially their father. And the other one was always bad at everything, and so she got her eye messed up, and then she ended up betraying her father. Really? Yeah, I thought it was just like us. What was the what story was this? I don't remember. Um, I was watching it with some friends. Uh, it was the dad was purple. I remember that. Chat, do you know what movie I'm talking about? A purple dad. Well, they were like aliens or something. Oh. They were like spirits or something. I don't know. Anyway, like the the father was purple, and he had he was very strong. And he had two daughters, and the older one was good at everything. I mean, I know I'm the younger sister, but she was like me. She was good at everything. She was the favorite, um, but and everyone liked her. But she ended up leaving and joining a group uh, of misfits. Meanwhile, the younger one was bad at everything, and the dad messed up her eye and everything. And she always resented the other one for being better than her. And she ended up betraying the father and helping the people that defeated him eventually. Oh, Wait, wasn't... Oh, right. No, I think I'm recalling it Oh, there now. was like a gauntlet that had all the gemstones yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. The blue one and the blue sister, the green sister, yeah, the yeah, purple yeah. dad. Exactly, exactly. And didn't the green one have like a obnoxious, obnoxious boyfriend? I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention to that part. Oh, okay. Did she have an obnoxious boyfriend? I remember that she had a boyfriend. Why do you always pay so much attention to the romances? Why That's do you always you pay such about? little attention to them? Because they're the least important part of the story. I don't know if I agree with that. Ugh. Mother really did a number on you with all of those times you watched Love Amongst the Dragons. It's all you ever think about. Who are you going to marry? Are there going to be hearts? You didn't used to be like this when you were, you know, a teenager. What happened? You used to run away from May whenever she had a crush on you. At what point did you decide that you were the one chasing the girls? When I stopped believing in cooties? It's pathetic. Not believing in cooties is pathetic. No, it's pathetic that you're so obsessed with romance but you don't have one. If you want one so badly, go get one. What do you think? If can, I you say, can you say dying will be your teacher in dad's voice? Just, just that? No. Yeah. Dying will be your teacher. That's pretty good. Oh, do you want to tell them about the rules if they want to super chat something from you? Oh, if you want to super chat something from me, just pay me one cent more than you would pay Zuko. That's all that matters. So if you pay Zuko for something, you just have to pay me at least a little bit more. And now that Azula's back, you can ask her to say whatever you wish. They can. All proceeds from these streams go to a good cause, and that's paying for me to have a place to live. Technically, that does fall under the reparations that I'm legally documenting them under. Yep. I was thinking about traveling recently. Like, I could go around and have adventures, see the world. Where do you think of going? I don't know. The world. I could go anywhere. Zuko, don't listen. The French believe in courtly love. Who are the French? Oh, courtly love. That's that one woman that married that one musician. Huh. Okay. 
You just believed that, didn't you? I said well, courtly love, and you... <laughs> I don't have any frame of reference. Courtly love means chaste love. The type where you court somebody... Oh, never mind. My humor is lost and wasted on you. What was that last part? <laughs> Not again. <laughs> I already did it once. Something attacked us in the distillery. It used the rats. I know it sounds crazy. And then it run back under the streets. So we come down here to kill it. Slackjaw leaving the I don't know what in the closet means, but I'm certainly not there. I don't know what happened to Slackjaw. He had the sewer key, though. Oh, that reminds me. What? I found Zhao again. Where'd you find him? At the bottom of a tower because he had turned into a zombie. Was he messed up? He was a literal he was literally so sick with the plague he became basically a zombie. Because I found him at the bottom of a tower where they dumped a bunch of other super sick people. And I know it was him because he has the the he has the facial scar I left him with. Huh. Oh, right, and now I have to deal with indestructible plants that spew poisonous projectiles at me. Not fun. You think you'd be used to that by now? Why would I be used to that? Because I spew venom at you all the time. Well, yes, but you don't literally spit on me. Sometimes you even like it. No, I don't. You don't like it when I tease you? Why would I like it when you tease me? You like it when I tease you. I do not. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Are you sure? I'm very sure. I can prove you like it. Oh, really? You just said you missed me, didn't you? Well, when yeah, I was I, gone? Well, of course I miss your All company. I ever do is tease you. I don't... I, I can miss you without missing the teasing. You like it. Admit it. I don't... Yes, you do. No, I don't. If you admit it, I'll give you a hug. No, you won't. Yes, I will. No, you won't. I'm a good person. I wouldn't lie. <sighs> Maybe I like it a little bit. You like it a little bit? Can, can you say it a little louder? I can't hear you. Maybe I like it a little bit. What, what was that? You, you're mumbling. Maybe I like it a little bit. What do you like a little bit? Maybe I like your teasings a little oh, bit. Oh, come here, Zuzu. I'll give you a hug. Oh, look at that. We're siblings and we're getting along. Yes. We're Isn't that along. nice? Yes. You know, if I wanted to assassinate you, this would be such an easy time to do it. Yeah, I figured. You're going to drown. No. You're so busy hugging me, you're going to drown. <laughs> you almost drowned to hug me, Zuzu. Well, if that, you was your, fool. if that was your assassination plan, that would have worked beautifully. Yeah, it would have, but I wasn't trying to kill anyway, you because I'm a good person that now. Way, that, anyway, that time I gave you a kiss without you shocking me. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Did you like it when May teased you? She didn't tease. She didn't? No. Zuko, May teases all the time. No, she just... She just does it really dry. Oh my gosh, did you not realize when she was teasing you? She never Because she does me. it so dryly. She doesn't tease me. I assure you she did. You probably just missed it. I assure it. you she didn't. Zuzu, I've seen her tease you. There's nothing teasing about it. She's just with... very dry about it. Look, there, there's dry teasing and then there's what May does and it's nothing close. Oh my gosh, Zuko. You don't even know what dry humor is. You like your humor wet, huh? Hold on. Oh, hey, it's, uh, it's Lower Lee. Ooh, what's she doing? This is the guy who, uh, this is the criminal guy. What did he do? He helped me get rid of, uh, Beifong's, uh, competition. My knives gotta be nice and sharp to cut into your... Oh, no, you don't. I'll kill you and cook you and eat your heart for breakfast. 
Wow, she's like a ninja. Wait, what? Who are you going to side with, her or him? Well, I think, I think she decided for me. Well, because you pulled your knife out. No, because I took the key from her. Oh. As usual, Zuko doesn't side with women. I didn't get the choice. It's too late for him, and it's too late for you. You know, what's my proof that you're a little bit special, Zuko? What's that? Sokka told me about the time he was trying to get you to understand how he felt about going to the Boiling Rock. So he phrased it for you in a way that you would understand. He said, I need my honor back. And then you were like, I know what that's like, believe me. As if you had no idea that he purposely said it that way. For you. What about it? Well, it just shows, like... No wonder you think I'm this mastermind of manipulation, because I can tell people what they want to hear. It's very easy and basic. Are you going to pick up that book? Hold on. Thank you for spotting that. I didn't spot that. Anyway... She doesn't sound like she's hurting. Ah! All right. What will I write on your skull? That you were a fool. You will die, and I'll carve. You know, you probably could have found a solution where you didn't have to kill either of them. Probably. Well, you don't have to kill her, I guess. You could just choke her. Yeah. As soon as I find where she disappeared to. In fact, hold on. It works best if I boil you. Well, you did it without killing anybody. Well done. Yeah. I did enough killing on my way to Hong Shen. And <laughs> you're just gonna put her on the bed. Well, where else Are you going to pick up that thing, that dart next to her? Oh yeah, the sleep dart to yeah. replenish. Yeah, take it. What would you do without me? I'm always helping you. Thank you, Azula. I guess it was narratively thematic that I had to take down the man who murdered mom by myself. For everyone that thinks Zuko is goth, he isn't goth. May is goth. She's apathetic and nihilistic. Zuko is punk, where he's angry and he lashes out at the world. Alright. I freed Slackjaw. Yeah, I used to think about it low and lead too. She was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. He has a gold tooth. That funny? Yeah, I had the same experience with Low and Lee. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corporal. Alright, well I got some money. Now What's I guess the book? Uh let's find out stronger than scrimshaw a skull full of guile whale bile bones in a pile white scraped gleaming kindle fire and no no you have to do it like you're a witch here i'll do it stronger than scrimshaw a skull full of guile whale bile bones in a pile white scraped gleaming kindle fire and crackle fat big black gobs of spat fume up fume up Feathers, mad-eyed bird, fell to ground. Seeds, nettle, needly, needle, see. Stir a bit. Like I said, I just pretended I was low and Lee. Pretty good. All right. We've got about eight minutes left before the stream ends. And once again, you haven't gotten your honor back. I avenged Mom's death, okay? That That's, has to count for something. It doesn't. Why not? Because you still haven't gotten your honor back. <sighs> the game is still called Dishonored, not you got your mom avenged and you're honored now. 
Well, considering the dishonoring was me being framed for the murder of my mother. You find your way into such interesting oh, hi, Jet. At the eye of the storm, raging between granny rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other, crawling out of those flooded rooms, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always feels terrible, Jet. Left to lose. And Dad, the man who killed the Empress, you had him in the palm of your hand, and you let him walk away. Does he not have eyes? I think he usually does, but I guess that was one time where it, he didn't. Okay, how many more? I need one more rune to get the power up I want. Is Jet your boyfriend? He's dead. That doesn't answer the question. No, he is not my boyfriend. Oh, so he was your boyfriend. He Got was it. never my boyfriend. He tried to kill me. That doesn't stop people from being boyfriends and girlfriends. I mean, May helped me capture you. I don't... Jet and I were never anything at all. Really? Really. That's not what I heard. Let me guess. You heard from somebody that blah, 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 ship, blah, 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 relationship, blah, blah, blah. No, I heard that he attacked you at work because he was down bad for you. No, he attacked me at work because he was... Because he... he he was able to figure out that Uncle and I were firebenders. Simply up based on the fact that you're hot. Based on the fact that Uncle stupidly firebent because his tea was cold. Ha ha, got you to admit Uncle's stupid. Ha ha. Was that really all you wanted to do there? Of course it was. I'm clever. You are. Yeah, you, yeah if, that's, if that was what you wanted, you got it. So you admit Uncle's dumb. I admit what he did was was stupid. Thank you. Oh, look, the sun is setting. You know what that means. It means that... We can stop fasting soon. Very soon. As Just soon as give, this, it, a, give as, it some time. Yeah, as soon as this stream ends. We've got like five minutes, Zuko. Yeah, I'm just going to... Four see, minutes. I'm just going to try and cover as much ground as I can. What is the last thing you want to leave the people with before this ends? Uh, for this week. For this week. Aren't you going to open that valve? I don't second? have the I don't have the combination. So what does he want to leave the people with for this week? Since you keep falling down. Thank you all for tuning in to what I believe is the fourth uh, stream of me trying to reclaim my honor back. Uh, if all goes well, I think next stream might just be the finale. You think so? You think you can find your honor next week? If I can't, then the net one right after will definitely be the end. And then you get to pick a game for me to play. I actually know what game you're going to play. Are you going to tell me what it is? You know what? Sure. That's what I'll leave the people with. Uh, well, you should do that on the last episode, right? Well, you just... Uh, fine, fine, fine. Honestly, Zuko, you have no sense of suspense. Oh, yeah, I have no sense of suspense when I'm just trying to agree with you for once. What would you I can't do? even agree with you without you agreeing. Oh, Zuzu, I'm just teasing you. Don't get angry. He's so angry all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care about these zombies. down there okay got like three minutes yeah make the most of them i will Ooh, nicely done all nicely right done. i got the power that i wanted zuko can you say i'm never happy for the people i'm never happy i'm always happy all right now i have upgraded my time bending powers now i can fully stop time 
And get your honor back. And get my honor back. Finally. Which means the stream is never ending. It's ending in two minutes. I know. I know it is. <laughs> I just want to make the joke. Because I think it's a funny joke. Oh, what is that? Like I said, now I have to deal with indestructible poison spitting plants. It looks like a rhino bird egg. I don't know how to... <laughs> you fall down every time. Ooh, Night in the Starlight is done with the dragons. I can't wait to see them. I bet mine is going to be way better than yours. I'm gonna die. Alright, I guess that's what we're ending the stream on, everybody. Zuko died again! Well, Zuko, you have one minute left. Are you just gonna end it there? You're calling it there. No, you're gonna try one last Let's time, alright? Let's see if right? I can at least find my bearings. One final desperate charge. Yeah, okay, so the exit is in this general direction. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Zuko. Yes. I want you to know something. What's that? I believe in you. You do? I do. I know that you can do this. No matter how much I give you a hard time, it's only because I know you can do better. It was always your destiny to be the crown prince, and always your destiny to be the fire lord. That's why I brought you home, Zuko. You can do this. Thank you, Azula. In fact, your belief isn't going to be for naught, because the exit... He's right here. You see, I helped you. And there we go. Right at the end. Right at the end. I helped you. I'm the hero. I'm the good person. You did. I did. I, oh, yeah. I put Weeper or Zhao out of his misery. Well, time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. No, you have to say. Right. <sighs> say goodnight, Zuko. Good night, Zuko. <laughs> Good night, everybody.